Thank you. <laughs> Alright, guys, welcome back to the stream. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. So, uh, what is this title? Is it clickbait? Eh, not really. Um, <laughs> but, uh, so, what, what, I got hired as a coach. What does this mean? So, we have a friend that we met yesterday. His name is GGBDK. He came on our YouTube chat, our YouTube live stream, and donated like two dollars i think and he was like uh hey man i need i'm joining a tournament it's my first wipe i need advice or i need coaching advice and i i, I said i'm not i i don't think i'll be the best coach because my play style is not the uh it, it's not built for competitive tarkov uh, I, I play tarkov in a very i just have fun with it i play in a like it's a survival game I always say that never really played as a competitive game but um this guy said that a, a lot of streamers turned him uh, well didn't really want to do it and i was down and if he trusts me i i so i got a call with him earlier about for like 10 minutes and just to get to know him a bit off stream and he told me that he he's seen my video he's seen a couple of my videos of our videos so he knows what he's getting into he knows our play style he knows what what's gonna happen if, if i if he gets advice from me so i'll take that i saw one clip so so today i did see one clip of his but it's not enough we got to see more um so I, I believe he's in game right now he's just chilling i did say we were gonna hop on a call about an hour from now if he's early if he's available earlier then we'll grab him into a call but today's gonna be getting to know him We'll get to know him first and then get to know his play style, what he likes. I've never played with this guy. I met him yesterday. So that's kind of the agenda for the day, chat. Um, am I the best person for this job? Probably not, but he got us. So here we are. But welcome. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for being here. I don't know why my Twitch chat. I'm not so sorry. My YouTube chat is still not working. It's weird. But uh, <clears throat> shout out to all the early birds. I-99 tack you, Durf, uh, Cauldron C, what's up, little Johnny. F uh, 511 Productions, what's up as well. Yang, James Cole, Jib, uh, BC, what's up. Uh, Alpha, Flippy, what's up. Yeah, long time no see. So that is the plan for the day. We're gonna do some coaching. I don't know if he's, uh, okay, he did message that he's, oh, <laughs> this guy, actual legend, um, actual legend. So we talked in the when we were talking so his name's zach we'll call him zach so when we were talking in discord earlier i asked him if he could pull together some clips of him um playing the game uh because again i don't i, I need to know how he plays the game oh there zach what's up dude <laughs> no worries no rush zach no 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 rush ggbdk is right there he's the one we're gonna be talking to in a bit I was about to say he's a legend chat because i asked if he's down to put clips together he literally uploaded a youtube video entitled tarkov fights for ramen style actual legend <laughs> thank you dude <clears throat> drop in and say hello i'm a fan from house of wolves discord oh dude hey drew zero i appreciate it thank you man thank you shout out to the uh, Wol uh house of wolves discord man so that's the plan for the day um <laughs> what's up cherry so we're gonna again i don't know why this twitch chat isn't working it's actually tilting because i really wanted twitch not twitch chat sorry my youtube chat to appear here because uh so that like when we're watching the vods people could see what you guys are saying because i want you guys to chime in as well while we do this but why is it not working let me try something let me try something else let me do this Can you guys is chat popping up here it's not either so um the plan for the day is we're gonna go through this youtube video with him i'll probably watch it first before he hops on with us we'll just watch of, of what this uh what his fights are like i want to see how he approaches fights how he fights how he closes out fights what's important for me as well is to see how he uh like yeah how he approaches fights does he fight everything does he pick his fights and stuff like that i also i want to know his behavior and stuff um there is a tournament actually let me link the tournament rules to you guys give me a sec my Twitch chat is not, um, I keep saying Twitch chat. My YouTube chat's not working. I don't know why, but anyways, let me bring out, I'll, 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 I'll link this in the YouTube chat. Give me a sec, guys. Thanks for being here, guys. Refresh the plugin. I, I mean, yeah, I refreshed the browser a few times. It's still not working. 
Maybe I have to re-log in to Streamlabs. Okay, so bear with me. Bear with we'll me. Let see. me just link this to you guys so you guys can... This is this right here will be the tournament rules. Uh, that So we're not... Again, we're not competing. It's Zach who will be competing. We're helping him. Um, we're helping him compete. That's that's it. I'm, I'm just... Again, I'm going to be this coach. <laughs> we're going to try to see if we can help him. First time catching stream. Hey, dude, thank you. Um, all hail more. Appreciate you, dude. Welcome in. Let me just figure out this. Let me try to re-log into Streamlabs. See if that helps with the... Uh, I really want this chat to pop up so that while we talk to Zach, uh, I want you guys to be part of the the VOD. And when I... This will be a YouTube video down the road. Then I want it, I, I want you guys... You guys in chat to be part of the VOD. To be part of the YouTube video. So let me log out of Streamlabs here really quick. Let's see if I can re-log in. Um, with YouTube. Yeah, so so I, I will be making this into a video for sure. So here's the plan. Um, here's the plan for the week. So today we're going to go through, uh, we're going to talk to Zach and get his thoughts, talk about the tournament, whatever, do whatever we can do to help him. Um, if we end early, then maybe we'll do a couple of raids. Who knows? Whatever. We'll see. Um, but on on tournament day which is which is about i think thursday 6 p.m eastern i plan to watch his perspective we'll stream when he's playing in the tournament so in this tournament you're required he's required to stream um so he'll be streaming on his twitch channel i'll go live and we'll watch him play uh we're not allowed to be with him and uh, so yeah what they 50 said we're not allowed to be with him in discord when he's in the tournament um so he has he's gonna be, uh i think he's gonna be in like a tournament discord so we'll just watch we'll just watch and see if see how he does but uh you know what's crazy chat you know what's crazy zach has this is zach's first wipe zach's first wipe and from the one clip i saw him play for someone who's who's a first wiper and he has about just under 300 hours of tarkov he's actually pretty decent um which is good which is cool so uh he, he's new to the game but su super props to him for joining this tournament early um i would have not joined the tournament in my first wipe i'd be still scared to my boots but uh zach's uh, he's he's built different so um we'll, we'll watch his uh we'll watch his clips in a bit i'm just trying to figure out why my chat's not working um alert box it's gonna be a test we're just gonna test the uh test the super chat this is just a test chat oh no did i okay that worked so why is my chat not showing up <clears throat> kb i haven't hopped in a raid we're gonna um coach a friend of the stream today uh he's joining a tournament so we have we're gonna help him we're gonna help him yeah super sigma super sigma energy man i uh, he's super respected so let's watch his uh okay so it looks like chat's not gonna work today sucks um i don't know why it's not working i have to figure this out I'm using Streamlabs chat box. I refreshed it a few times already. I did what I could. Still not showing up. Mm. Let me just make sure I have the right link of my browser source. One sec, guys. Yeah, so first wipe, man. Um, it's it's a uh, BDE, you know. <laughs> Uh, I, I again like I said it, it took me a while for me to get used to the game like I, I have joined a couple of tournaments so um, my term experience is Pestilis Punisher series I joined all three um, I didn't do super well I, my, the best I did was top 30 top 30 I think I was like 26th place or something top 30 out of 100 in the last was, was it out of 100 players I forget I don't know if it was out of 100 it could be a little less actually I take it back but we were we were top 30 in in uh the labs tournament Pestily had before uh but they, i didn't do super well um although there are a lot of things i learned from from competing that i could share with them maybe so eh, we'll see how it goes see thank you for the 99 pesos i appreciate it, man <clears throat> um just by doing pay I i'm glad yo uh sean dolphins i'm glad to hear that dude i'm glad to hear that like sl i'm glad slowing down work slowing down work for you awesome man awesome stuff dude okay so just looking at okay i can't figure this out if we can't figure this out it is what it is uh i guess no twitch uh no youtube chat 
um, for this video, sadly. Oh well, it is what it is. Um, so this is a video. Our man, the legend Zach, uploaded for us. Um, I asked him to compile as many fights as he can. Uh, I told them wins and losses, so it's a little. There's no like survivor bias. There's no winning bias. Um, so let's, let's let's go skim through it really quick before we get in with Zach. So this is all Zach. So someone's in stronghold. What gun is he using? I respect the build. It's not meta, but it's a, it's a sexy looking build. I mean, sexy in its own right. I'm a fan. So it seems like it's a player going for him. At least I assume. I probably flank a little more. That's a scary repeat here. Is the, the guy saw where he was going, he could get repeat. I mean, he could get slapped as he put, puts his head over, but he's not anyway. Wrap around more. Oh, okay, so these this is AI, GGBDK, Zach. Gotcha. Um, are you? Oh, okay, so this is AI. Is that AI? Green tracers? M62? Oh, that's a player. Oh, that's a player. That was a player. That was a player. So I'll, I'll watch through everything first, then we'll we'll get we'll get Zach into the call. Arsas, I like it. Come on. Okay. Keep it. Just so I get an idea of like what we're what we're gonna watch here. And then we'll get Zach into the call. Um if you're ready, Zach. And then we can uh, go through everything. Wait for the train to try. No no rush man, no rush, dude. Take a time, take a time. I did say 5 p.m. It's only 4.12. Technically, we're supposed to start an hour from now, but I just wanted a little bit headroom, so... But take your sweet time, man. You need time to just chill. <clears throat> but thank you, Zach, for putting together clips that were you even... You lost as well. That's, um... Not many will want to do that. <laughs> Machine Lab's doing the same thing with chat. Just logged back. I did log in and out though. It didn't work for me still. Maybe I'll try again. Like Streamlabs from the website, Johnny. Gotta try again. So I hear someone. <laughs> okay, so I heard someone running. But I don't know if that was the guy that killed them. Okay. Was that a nape death? Anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll break it down later. Nephew, what's up? Hey, Unique. How you doing, man? Oh, uh, these are uh, Sanitar. Is that Sanitar guards? Is that the Sanitar event? Seems like it. That's fair. AI being AI. That's Sanitar again. I think that's Sanitar again. Or at least that's AI for sure. That's fair. That's normal stuff. Happens to me all the time. <laughs> it's like I'm watching my own clips. Relatable. Again, that was probably me. That might have been my own clip. I just killed one. Don't look through that fucking window. <laughs> I love the intensity. <laughs> love it, dude. Peeking the bear's bit of the window. <clears throat> That's some intense uh, comms, man. I'm the close fourth door, just in case one tries to rotate. Oh, that did not bounce. Oh. And these are juice three, man. This is a juice three trio. Be careful. Impact. You want me to toss one? 
Again, if you guys just hop in, and we are watching clips from Zach, who will be helping out later. <laughs> Did yeah. his friend die? Oh, oh no, <laughs> his friend died. Yeah. <laughs> this. <laughs> uh, dude, the, oh no, his friend, his other friend died. They all died to grenades. I'm dead. Now you gotta love Tarkov. Push him on the right, he's gonna be hurt. Oh, push that heal. Oh wait, you don't know if there's one more though. You don't know if there's one more. So it's 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 hard. It's easy to say push the heal, but we don't know if there's one more. Yeah, I pulled out a grenade. Run up. I can't make like a dude. Karakara is a fair fair. It's it's. It does. It's not the easiest one to make, but when you do make it, though, I haven't. Uh, you know, I'm still trying to learn how to make a proper one myself, too. Hey, Orange Crush, good seeing you. I'm good, dude. We're about to help a a friend learn Tarkov. Ooh, tactical smoke. I respect it. So I won't really break down these fights now, but I'm already taking mental notes. But, um... That's an impact. I, I'm, I'm keeping note. Oh, so there is two. So there's one down the hall, one to the right. Okay. So, yeah, it's not as easy. It's not just push the guy. So I'm not going to break anything down. We'll save the breakdowns for when we talk to Zach. I'll just, we'll just watch through it first. Um, what's up, Sirk? What's going on? So, uh... We are watching clips right now of a friend of the community that will be competing in a tournament in, in a couple of days' time. And today we will be breaking down his fights, just generally how he plays. And um, he was asking advice on how to compete in the tournament. Now, any advice on like how to play and stuff. So we're going to have a friend on a call later. But right now we're just watching a compilation of fights he put together for us so we can see how he plays. Because I've never seen this guy play before. Okay, the guy's down. Oh, good kill to the right. And he's pushing this. Oh, easy. That was so well played. Did you just get them both? <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> Let's fucking go, oh. Zach. <laughs> That's Let's fucking go. Yeah, dude. The, the teammates, chat. Those are some legendary teammates. Hyping up your butt, dude. Well Let's played, dude. Let's fucking go. He's competing solo. It's a solo tournament. I pinned the rules in the YouTube chat. You can see it's a pin message. The rules are there. <laughs> Did he pay me? No, he didn't pay me. Um, well, he offered to pay me, but uh, I I don't plan on... I don't really want to do paid coaching. Um, this is like a one-off thing. I don't think I'll do this again anytime soon. Maybe I will. I don't know. But I felt like instead of paying me, if he was down for me to turn it to content, he was down. So I'm not being paid, but we're turning it to content. So. Oh, so did I. <clears throat> I thought I had more time, but he threw a bog. Dude, you played that perfectly. He did. Perfectly. It was super clean. Super clean. So he's, he's probably the end of the raid. Um, it's it's the it's it's choppy for me as well. It's 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 the video itself. This reserve. This is uh the, the bunker area. Yeah. Hey, Will, brother, thanks for joining the, mem the, the Noodle Gang, man. I appreciate it, dude. Feed the membership. Ojima, what's up, dude? We are, um, we were just watching clips of a community member who's going to compete in a tournament in a couple days, and we're trying to get to know how he plays. We're going to help him, help him make a game plan for the tournament. This guy is, dude, this guy is, for someone who played Fucking first wipe, he's so good. Suck. <laughs> he's so good. Uh... <clears throat> Yo, small guns, what's up, dude? Hey, thank you, thank you. Day's awesome, man. Appreciate it. First time catching you live. Welcome in. So, um, we'll see if we're gonna. Uh, yo, Zach, take a time, brother. All right, sounds good, man. Let me know when you're good, good, Zach. So, GGBDK in chat. His name is Zach. Um, we'll, we'll be. This is him. This is his fights. And I need a right side peek. There's, there is. This is not. This is. Yo, the only other thing Jabram, you can thanks for the five bucks, dude. Is, Appreciate with your you, dude. Light and laser on. Walk down that fucking hall. 
how do tournaments work um check the youtube chat there, i pinned the message it says tournament rules with an imager link check check it out the, the rules are all there so again for reference guys Zach has under 300 hours of Tarkov. This is his first wipe. He plays like he has a thousand hours. Am I being baited? Is this one of those, you know, I, I got a coach, but he's actually like a really big streamer slash YouTuber, you know, who's baiting me into coaching, but he's actually, he's played the game for like 50,000 hours. Yeah, Could be that. But you hey, whatever it is, fucked. it's content. <laughs> but he's, he's, it's all, it's, it, he's, he's, uh, Pretty great for a 200 hour, 300 hour guy, you know? GG. That was a good fight. That was fair. That was 50 50. That was bad. I don't have an automatic gun there. That was fair. You fucking did everything there perfectly. Though. I peaked him once. next match coming? No idea, Ryan. The drain is mag. Everybody right now. He's about to come through the door. No, I just spent 10k playing on the shooters. That's fair, dude. That's right, I'm memeing, man, but dude, you're, you're, you're really decent, dude. Are you voice line? No, nope, that was them. They went straight to the right. I like the fights there. he shared. These that are one? super fair fights. God damn it! Because when I, when I asked Zach to put fights together, I wanted to, him to put, like, fair fights and nothing like just, like, stomping people or... These are fights where we can take real notes, so it's cool. No, oh, Jeej, dude. That's a Jeej. That's a Jeej. <laughs> dude, I love your teammate. Your teammate has so much, so much passion for Tarkov, dude. That's the same guy from Labs, right? I assume. You got some kind of fucking problem. <laughs> but I, I can see where where Zach's uh, confidence comes from. The fact that it's his first wipe and he's joining a tournament early. This is why, because he, he's, even if he's new, he has a feel for the game. He has a good feel for the game. You can tell he's, um, he's a super seasoned shooter player. I'm just um, gonna kill scabs, okay, I, please. I asked Zach, uh, earlier today what games he's played. I believe Apex, um, what else did you play? But I remember Apex is one of the games you mentioned. So, um, this other guy has a DVL. I saw this. He, Zach has another video that shows double perspective. He killed the streamer. That's the streamer right there. Dude had a DVL. Was trying to um, get some cheeky quick, not quick scopes. Well, not really quick scopes, but flicks on Zach. Dude, those are clean right. headshots. Jesus Christ. Directly in front of me. He's looking He's down my sight line right now. Hit him twice. Oh. Did you... Find a box on the left. How far did you go with CSGO? Are you a global elite CSGO? SMFC global elite. One of my There's arms. another one. Yo, Subaru, welcome back. Did you just get hit? No, I that was actually good. That was a good. That was that was fair. Um, I would feel the same. Like, oh, I can't believe I lost that. But that was that was a good play. Anyways, beat that eagle. That's fair. That's still 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 good. Um, all right. Uh, that. So first of all, thanks for putting that video together. I, I, this is super, this is all, like, in, although it's 12 minutes of fights, this gives us a good perspective where you're at. Easy. So, um, yeah, we'll, uh, can I check if my chat's still broken, dude? Man, all right, I don't know why this happened. I didn't stream for, like, a week and a half, and then my chat's broken. Okay, whatever. Uh, there's supposed to be chat popping up here, but, all right. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, whenever Zach's ready, we'll, we'll get in a call with Zach, uh, to, Get your coffee. Do what you gotta do. You just chill out. Let me know when you're good, good Zach. Also, are we gonna? Um, we'll we'll do Discord. We'll do a Discord call. Uh, I did tell um Zach that if you're down a video, if you're down a video call, sure. If you don't want to, we can just do audio call. I don't really care. It's really up to you. But um, we'll do a Discord call with Zach. We'll just talk to him a bit, and then we'll go through these fights. And then um, I'm thinking if uh either we watch Zach play some games maybe or. 
Um, I don't think we can duo, sadly, because server difference. Maybe I could go US West. I don't know. We'll see. But we'll see what we can do later. Point is, today, I want to talk about the tournament with Zach. Talk about um, things that we saw in this compilation he just sent us and stuff. So, uh, yeah, there, there's a lot we'll talk about today. And then we'll see if we'll just do some fun stuff later. Maybe if, <clears throat> I don't know, maybe duo or, um, or if not, maybe watch him play through Discord streaming. But, uh... <clears throat> Will I coach more? So, so the reason why I took this as a thing was um, Zach came, again. So how the, how this came about? If you guys are wondering how how the hell all this came about, yesterday I was streaming usual stream. Zach came on, and he donated two Canadian dollars, I believe it was, and he was like, his message was something like, uh, I think I, I still have it here. Wait, he said invited to Invictus tournament. How much for coaching? And I immediately said, I don't do coaching. And I don't think I'm the best uh, to, to, to talk about. I'm not the, I don't know if the way I play is for competitive gaming or competitive to Tarkov, really, specifically. And um, he, he didn't mind. I, and then we, we got in a call. I, I took it. I decided, no, it might be fun. It might be a fun thing for content. It might be fun to do it on stream. So I told him, I'm down to do it as long as we do it on stream, just so that you guys get to watch it as well. Just have fun with it. And um, I got into a 10 minute call or 15 minute call with Zach earlier off stream this morning, my time, just to get to know him a little bit. Super chill guy. I like his vibe. Uh, we just met, but cool guy. And um, yeah, he, he's joining this tournament and he, I asked him how he found the channel. He found my channel through a short, um, if you guys saw the one where I'm sniping, it took me forever to take a shot. I was waiting for a guy on top of a rock in woods sniping and then he saw that and after that he saw my punisher 6 video which was my second to the last upload as of today and um so so i wanted to know if like he has context of who i am and how i play the game and it seems like he does have context the fact that he's seen at least a couple of my videos he knows how i play so uh that's what matters as long as he know he knows what he's getting into i think that's all all it is uh despite the fact that my play style again like i said I don't play like like from what i've seen we we kind of have a different play style um he's very pvp heavy I, I get into pvp as well but pvp is not my is not the thing i always chase every every day on stream at least when we do it we, I, I like quests and then we fight when we have to i always talk about picking my fights and stuff but i feel like just a mix of myself and him his very pvp heavy play style and how i pick my fights and my brain my thought process because I, I i like i always say i i treat this game like a survival game and I feel like mixing both might, might work. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I think it's gonna be fun. I do think uh, in terms of my tournament experience, again, like I said earlier, I've joined three tournaments. It was all of Pestily's tournaments. Um, Pestily hosted three Punisher tournaments. The first one was Factory, second one was Labs, third one was Factory. The first Factory tournament he did, it was public servers, basically um, as many kills as he can get in three hours, which is similar to, to this tournament uh, Zach's joining. I didn't place well, that was garbage. Second tournament was in labs, private servers. I actually did pretty well, at least for me, for myself. I'm not a labs gamer. Um, I placed uh, somewhere like top 30. I think I placed 26th or 27th place somewhere there out of... Um, how many players were there in Asia? I don't remember. But we were somewhere top 30. Um, I actually have a clip of... Uh, I, I remember we had, we had a clip of my last round um, in that tournament where we could have hit top 20, but um I, I might show you guys later but and then then the third tournament was factory again with private servers and that one was no it was labs again actually third one was labs again sorry labs labs private servers and it was pretty rough too was it four actually maybe four tournaments was it four tournaments or three tournaments how many punisher tournaments did pestily host is it three or four anyway um i joined all of those that's that's the most i did and then after the the last Punisher tournament, that's when I knew I didn't really want to do tournaments. So there's all the evasion tournaments and um, all these tournaments that come up. And uh, when, when I, people always ask, like, are you going to join this? Are you going to join that tournament? Are you going to sign up for this tournament? Never really did. I kind of... Uh, the, the, pun the, the Punisher tournaments I did for with Pestily when he hosted those, that was, like, that was it for me. It was like, yeah, those are fun. It was fun times. But I realized that I didn't enjoy tarkov for that format i enjoy it for again like i said as a survival game and stuff does it mean i'll never join another tournament not really 
it just means that after those the, those stretch of pestily tournaments i joined i just then it wasn't interested anymore i prioritized just normal tarkov and making content and uh honestly i was thinking about it like last night when when i was just prepping for this today i was thinking would i uh would i join another tournament soon probably not anytime soon but if if the turn if the tournament format feels right or whatever i'm down but um yeah i don't really feel uh feel like uh it's it's a thing I'm, I'm interested in right now but i am interested in helping zach so hopefully uh he um hopefully we get to help him tournaments in a few days so again like i said the plan is to in, in tournament time tournament day I'll, I'll be streaming the tournament i mean i'll be streaming on the day of the tournament we'll watch zach's perspective and uh yeah <clears throat> are those are these dammer glasses fair it is yeah I got this before the show came out. The show came out. I get that a lot, so it is. <laughs> you think you, I think you do well for coaching, at least for sharing your own perspective. Uh, I appreciate that, dude. One peg should do a collab. I love one peg. Cool guy. My ping. I live in Hawaii. I have to play California ha uh, hackers. My lowest ping is eighty. Think my fight's same. I hate when people just go for kissing the questing. What about making your own? All right, sounds good, Zach. How about making your own cross? Uh, Cross a ramen noodle eating competition with Tarkov. You know what, dude? It's not a bad idea. All right, let's let's get into a call with Zach. Um, let's uh, we call him right now since Zach's ready. Um, okay, you get, we good? You hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All right, sounds good. Chat, can you hear him? Okay, cool. Um, let's uh, let me just maximize. How do I maximize this? Okay, anyways. Uh all right. So this is Zach, guys. Um so you have have how many hours of Tarkov again? Uh here I can stream for you. Oh yeah, please. Yeah, yeah, show me. Oh. I think this is the game. I don't um, know if I'm streaming your no stream right it's now. It's blurred right now, so I play it safe. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I see here. I see it. Okay, so this is his overall stats right now. So <laughs> You have 277 raids. You have where's hours at? Oh, under 200. Yeah. I thought you were 200 plus. You're actually under 200, which is crazy. 48, 40, 48. Okay, so 48 survival rate. That's. I mean, okay. So I always say that survival rate for me never really meant anything in in a sense that it doesn't determine how good or bad you are at the game. It just determines your play style. But 48 is pretty deep. Is between my. I would never survive in my first 200 hours. <laughs> Um, okay, so then your PMC kills, you have roughly a fair amount. Um, and, uh, all right. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so 200 hours, dude. So what's your background again in FPS games? Yeah, I've played uh, Counter-Strike up to Eagle. Uh, let me just go through the games here. I'm going to look like a mega degenerate here. <laughs> All right, Apex Legends. I've clocked about six hundred hours. Are you looking at something? We see a YouTube video. I mean, like, it's Chrome. Oh yeah, I'm just anyway, looking at fine. my uh, library. Okay, okay. My Steam okay. library. Okay. Uh, yeah. Counter Strike, two thousand hours. Two K hours. How much again in Apex? Just like, um, six hundred on Steam. I think I have another like four or five hundred on. Gotcha. So about a thousand ish. Yeah. So CS:GO two K. What else? Uh, Overwatch, I've probably got over a thousand. Okay. I think Overwatch is the game I got the highest rank in. I see. So I got the high masters. What would you say DPS. is your main, or well, not really main, well, I guess main or favorite FPS game outside of Tarkov? Probably uh, CSGO, to be honest. CSGO. I, lo I love it. I love it. There. I was just talking, about, talking to my chat about CSGO yesterday. Um. Okay. Perfect, because because the one thing I will say is, uh, do you, so someone asked in chat, do you play R six? Not a lot. No, I've got less than a hundred hours in that game. Ethan, thanks for the membership, man. Appreciate you, dude. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, but this yeah, this is kind of was... like my first tack shooter, pretty much. Well, what I was saying again, I'm, I'm sure you heard me say it earlier. It's it's insane to me how you have two hundred hours, but you play like you have a thousand. It's actually pretty insane. I I know, like you. You, you come from a, a really good foundation of other FPS games, but 
usually like I've had friends who are like insane CSGO players, like, you know, 7,000 hours global elites and they hop into Tarkov and it's like they're, yeah. baby, they're, they're walking like a, you know, learning how to walk again, like a baby <laughs> and you did like 200 hours in that. That's, that's a, that's a solid start. Like I would, Im- cause I always say to people is that let's say you're insane at apex or CSGO or something. I feel like what you know, in other games starts to trickle in at like 500 to a thousand hours. And you transferred in like in under 200. That's pretty nuts. I like it. It's crazy, crazy good. Um, anyway, so you, you I'll, I'll go through the video with you. I'll, I'll break down some stuff that, um, so I, when, when I watch your clips, I can already tell your mechanical skills are on point. You have such a good like foundation of game sense already. Again, for 200 hours, insane. Are there any maps you don't know yet? That I don't know. I don't know labs very well. I haven't. Okay. You played a lot of reserve. Been there too much. Um, not a lot of reserve. Mostly customs, customs, shoreline, factory. I don't know woods like at all. Right. A um, little bit shaky on lighthouse. Okay. So you spent most of your two hundred hours in customs. Yep. And then were you learning with a friend? Uh yeah. So the first bit, like something that helped me so much when I started this game was going in the Tarkov Discord mm-hmm. and just going to the beginner's LFG yeah, and getting carried by people in a Sherpa. So when they Sherpa you, how do they, how, how does it usually go when you get sherpa Like what's your experience like? Are they, because sometimes some people get sherpa but they get ex- absolutely hard carried where they're not really doing anything in raid. So it seems like you, you were sherpa properly. Yeah, like we kind of just, they would lead the way and lead me to where I need to go for my tasks. And then, uh, pretty much that all i don't know like they would show me where to go and we would just run together and and extract and just do that over and over again right so um it's interesting what candy axe in chat said so i'm not trying to bash but i'm curious about a beginning 200 hours of good stats on why he needs coaching he seems to already have a good idea about things so this is a good question in a way that what is it that you need help with because you have a good foundation what do you need help with i need help with um how and when to take fights right because i'm finding a lot of fights i take i just get poopy done Mm -hmm. and i'm not really sure like what i need to change in order to uh win those fights right right that's cool so um i did there there are stuff um i did see in, in the youtube compilation you put where it's definitely like uh i it's you, there were fights where um if you had if you just had a little more hours you would definitely win like stuff like uh just little things but we could go through it actually um i could share my screen and let's go through your video one sec um again so just for reference for people watching in chat um zach here is going to join a tournament in a couple days called invictus uh i pinned a message in youtube chat there's an imager link that has the tournament rules so um, he, we, we just met yesterday, and uh, we're going to go through... I'm going to stop watching the stream for a bit. And we're going to go through how he approaches fights and stuff, and we'll try to break down some stuff. But uh, let me... How do I share screen? Share screen. Chrome. All right. Okay. Um, do you see my Chrome? In Discord? Um, yeah, Discord stream. Um, no? No? Okay, I might have effed it up. One, one sec, sec, let me see. Oh, there we go, we're good. Okay, you see it? Okay. Cool. I don't usually do calls. I know where it is. So, um, Flippy, Sork, and Chaz, do you, does he, do you play mostly solo or squad? 50 or 50-50. 50, 50. 50. What do you enjoy more? I'd say about half my raids are with teams. Mm-hmm. But definitely more towards the solo side. What do you do? You enjoy solos more? Yeah, it's uh, more high energy. Fair, fair. Um, your teammates that you were playing with, um, are they super experienced? Or? Yeah, those guys I was playing with. This is I don't even know how many wipes they've played. They've got a ton of hours. I see. Were they Discord, uh, the, the official Discord guys, or did you? Do you guys know? You guys, you know these guys from before? Like, um, actually, I know them from. My sister's boyfriend actually plays a ton oh. of Tarkov, invited me to their Discord. So. That's cool. I see. Cool. All right. Um, 
Actually, do, do you want to go through the tournament rules first, or do you want to go through the fights first? All right, let's go through the fights. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so, uh, wait, did I, can you hear me? Did I mute? I did mute, dummy. Okay, I actually muted. Um, okay, so we'll go through your fights. This is the first one. This is custom. So uh, when I was watching this earlier, I, I said it already earlier, but um, so you got, you started getting, so why are you here, first of all? Like, how'd you end up here? Like, did you hear shots or something, or you're just passing through? Um, I was pushing up because I wanted to fight the Raiders. Uh, so, so this is during the, is this during the Sanitar event? Yeah, this is, so these uh, clips are in order of like most recent to least recent. So this is from like a couple days ago. Mm, okay, okay, okay. So this is, you wanted to fight Sanitar and the boys? Yeah. Okay, so when you got, so you got shot here, um, and then you, you took cover here, fair. And then this is where, uh, what, what I was saying earlier was at this moment, I would probably try to flank even further but i know the idea that uh you don't want to just keep running because you might get tracked someone just might just be tracking you and hitting you but i was worried as well here that if you pop your head here he's probably just like whoever was sniping you is still watching that angle he's, he's watching this angle because he saw you hide behind this hill so he's waiting for you to run past this but he never sees you so you're repeeking this but um good thing you didn't die i was i was expecting a one tap here as you popped up but it seems like that dude got this. Looks like he's fighting AI, actually. Because you, you died to a player here. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a player up there. So you can't find them. So this is what I was worried about. What I would what, what I what I would have done here is uh, just a, like a super reposition. So something I always say um, in like my videos and like in PvP in general is trying to reset a fight. Because the problem with this is he knows where you are. He has a very good idea of where you are you haven't seen this guy at all yet and um like if you're gonna try to scope him in you're, you're just like you have no idea where he is so there's no sense of pre-aiming where he is there's no sense of crosshair placement you're kind of just searching all over looking for his pixels if if you try to counter snipe him which is kind of what happened here so i would have just kept committing here and then run like keep running past the railroad and just like do a big re big reposition super reset the fight so reset the fight in a way that uh he won't know where you are and you can kind of reposition yourself in a better position because right now he's kind of just tracking you and then which is in, yeah which is the case there so you know what i mean like as you try to counter snipe him you have no idea where to place your crosshair right like where are you pre-aiming you're gonna do a scan really quick and then by the time you see him he's already shooting you there you go so like um, in that, in this fight, like I said, I think the best decision would have been do your best to use movement to get out of the way. Um, like if, if you just kind of kept running, go past the railroad here, maybe re maybe do a big wrap around to the other side of Stronghold. If you want to get cheeky, sometimes what I do as well, um, which probably won't be the best thing for the tournament because time matters in, in the tournament. But um if it's a non-tournament setting sometimes i get super cheeky and like go into old gas and then jump over the porta potty wall and like do a big ass flank like play the long game because the way this guy's playing it seems like he's hanging around stronghold for a while um and but but this is where like you and me kind of differ where i'll do a big ass flank and i'm willing to lose this guy i'm kind of like hoping he stays around but if i lose him it's like okay whatever i survived uh we didn't get him but it's all good and I know, like, you're you're a little more PvP heavy, so you want this guy's head, like, quick. But, uh, so, what I would what I would have done, again, like I said, I'll go old gas, do a big ass flank, just play the long game, and then, you know, get a little off timing. But for you, I would have, especially tournament setting, instead of re-peaking that porta potty like I said, just go over the railroad here. And, you see my cursor, by the way? Yes. Yeah, so go over the railroad, and then, like, probably just do a big ass flank, and then go to the other side, play the whole game of, um... Yeah, because right now, again, like I said, he's just tracking you. So, yeah, that's at least for this fight. Any Anything you, you want to say or? Uh, no. Although, not on this, but in oh. particular, something, um, something about this game is I find a lot of times, too, like something I need help on is making a decision. Yeah. Like I was hiding behind that hill for a really long time, and I wasn't sure what to do or where to right. go. Yeah, there's that par par paralyzed feeling for a bit. Yeah. And right, right. You know, I don't really get that in a game like 
apex where you can just butt rush up a hill and take the high ground. Yeah, especially because like in... you're not in much danger for people one shotting you as you are in this game. Agreed. I know what you mean. So like in like Apex, you can kind of like so movement just your way really out, sure right? And... For movement there. Yep. So in Apex, you can movement your way out like up a hill, and then you can take a couple of shots, right? And um, you heal up in Apex. So in Tarkov, you have that fear of uh, you keep running, you just get one tap. Um, I will say though that uh, like. So here you're you're kind of if already. If you're talking right now, I can't hear you. I'm an idiot, dude. Did I mute? I'm fucking muted. Okay, you hear me now? <laughs> yep. All right, my bad. Okay, so what I was saying was, in Apex, um, I I know I know you're I know what you're saying. So in Apex, you can kind of movement your way out of a fight, right? And yeah, you're, you're not in any danger of getting one shot. Yep. Like and you can duck and heal. Yes, exactly. So even in Apex, because of the higher TTK as well, you're moving, you're getting shot a little bit. But you, you can t tank some shots, get get behind cover, heal up, and then reset. Um, so I think, so example, if let, let's say this was Apex. You were getting shot, you reposition up a hill, and then you know what I mean about like the whole reset the fight, right? It's like yeah. you reset the fight into, uh, you want to reposition in where you have maybe an advantage or you just take away the guy's advantage and it becomes a fair fight. Or maybe, again, like I said, you turn the tide to your favor maybe you reposition to a really cheeky angle or you get behind them so i would stick to that idea so that that's what i'm saying your foundation in other games will transfer here um i understand your fear of of uh like running just running across and getting clapped but um i th it's it's honestly choosing the lesser evil at this point so it, like this here honestly when i watched this clip i thought you were gonna get head tap as you as you peeked over um, so it's either you get head tapped here easily or you just become you, you become a hard target to hit and just keep running for your life um, so I, what I you did this right though you run here uh, do a little ziggy zag and then get behind the porta potty get stamina back and then maybe run to the uh, so you could do this um, methodically you can run here and then yeah. run to the green cover after and then reset again run to the orange cover and then maybe go over the railroad Okay. So it's it's a lot of um uh just like getting away and resetting the fight. So that that like the what you know about Apex, transfer that to uh to Tarkov. It's the same concept, man. Same con I say this all the time when, when I talk about like fighting in Tarkov, it's like resetting a fight. Um like here the guy's just tracking you, he knows where you are, all he can do is just prone and snipe or whatever he's doing. And he just has to wait for you to peek out here and exactly what happened. So I feel like at this point, um he, you, uh, yeah, you just want to choose the lesser evil and be willing to maybe get hit in the leg or the arm a bit. Maybe you'll get one tap, but at the end of the day, you know how, like, in, in this game, you, you've experienced how it's not as easy to hit a moving shot, even at medium range, right? It's not the easiest thing in the world. So same with your opponents. Like, uh, um, if, if you make a run for it, I feel like, yeah, it's 50-50. You may get head tapped, but better chances than like, you know, peeking this porta potty and just getting being an easy target. So that's pretty much with that fight. Okay. Um, okay, let's move on to the next. So I think our takeaway from that is like use your your knowledge from Apex, reset fights to your advantage. Which is super doable as well in close range. Later, I think there's another fight that's close range with the same concept that I saw earlier. Okay, so this one, um, Okay, this one was tricky because okay so why are you aiming here so i know that there's a bunch of pmc spawns and mine is the closest one to the train track oh, so i'm okay. just sitting there waiting for somebody to cross the train tracks fair so this was straight out of spawn you're, you're uh spawn checking pretty much clearing spawns okay so you're waiting nothing pops up so when you watched this the first time actually i think i did get shot in the back By watching the way, it back over again um, did, did we confirm, did, were you able to confirm if, uh, if this, what the survive meant? No, no, um, I didn't get an answer for that. Let me go check and see if they've yeah. said anything here. Yeah, because what, what, um, sorry, to go off topic a bit, but yeah, uh, Lake and chat. Oh, yeah. It, it means yeah, uh, survivors an, three? An extract from the raid with the survivor status is worth three points. Three points, holy crap, that's huge. So, we'll get into that later, but, um... So um, what, when, I just wanted to confirm that with you, and when, now that it's confirmed, I think even more uh, something that I do a lot is picking my fights and, um, and 
tournament's gonna be perfect for picking your fights because sometimes you just want to take the take the three points anyway anyways let's uh go through this so you're aiming down no info right the, like you haven't heard anything you're just checking i haven't heard anything yet okay. yeah cool and then you start getting shot that sounds like it's do you know where that's from so that sounds like it's from big red yeah but i'm not sure right right yeah, i, I would have thought the same would have thought the same So this um this spot it gives me anxiety because of getting sniped from the other side but it is what it is like as we're talking spawns you know I don't, you'll never know if the ruaf guys are like looking backwards especially after those impacts it's a little little scary So you're just waiting. You're waiting for that guy who shot you, right? Yep. Yeah. That's so what happened here is I tried to Alt W to uh, unaim without making sound and right. made a bunch of sound anyways. Sorry. I thought that's what got me killed, but maybe I got shot from behind. Yeah. So I remember watching this earlier. So we hear footsteps. Just So I feel like... Okay, you got shot. It sounds like you got shot from behind. There were footsteps after. It sounded like it was behind you. I think... Okay, audio is so weird, but I'm going to assume... Initially, I thought you got sniped from RUAF. But because we heard... Um, we heard footsteps right when you died right behind you. I think the guy... Um, I don't know if this is right, but the guy in, R in, in Big Red... Uh, went to your last known position and kept rapping from from your left side yeah and then he just was like scan like clearing the area maybe he was at the shore side where you were earlier just trying to clear the trees and then found you so um some people will think so these are kind of deaths where some people will think like um there's nothing i could have done that was just talked out which is true at times but i think the moment you got shot at big red um so i'm trying to think what i would have done in this exact moment. So you start getting shot here. Boom, boom. Yeah, it seems like that's the guy. I'm going to assume this guy went from Big Red to here, check where you were. He couldn't find you. He went to the trees. He went to the shore and then kept clearing and found you uh, by the turned over cab. Um, so here, I would probably just, again, like super similar to the first fight we talked about, big ass reposition, dude. Like big, big reposition. Um, Again, going back to the Apex idea of like resetting where they have no idea where you are and it's a complete reset. It's because what's nice about resetting fights, especially in Tarkov, is um, Tarkov, an, well, not all, but there's the average Tarkov player, I feel, they tend to lurk too long in a certain area because um, you, know, you can't get greedy for the kill. You're looking for them, you're, you're not sure where it is. So, what I would I would have done here, which is similar to the first fight, is do a Big ass reposition wherever you want. You can go all the way to the end, then go back. You could go all the way to the end of the railroad, go left towards crossroads, and then go into big red from the back hole. You know what I mean? You could do that. Like yeah. do get behind them, get behind his footpath. Again, playing the long game. It's playing the long game. And at least you'll have an idea where he is. So well, not well, it's twenty twenty hindsight. We know where he is now, but you could kind of use that so you'll use that info to your to your knowledge where you you do a big flank, let's say you go back to storage or big big red where he was, and you're gonna assume that he already saw you, you don't know where he is, so he's gonna be searching for you in your last known position. So you play off of that info, and you might actually find him. Um, it's happened to me a lot, and uh, I even made a video on it in the past about like, whenever this this happens to me where I'm holding an angle, I get shot from someone else. Um, I, I, I get shot from someone else where I have no idea. I have a general idea like this one, like okay, he's shooting me from big red, I just leave, I do a super double back, big ass reposition, play the long game, and then come back to the general area where I got shot from, and I usually find the guy who was shooting me because he's like walking around the woods, walking around the trees looking for me. So that could have been, or if you don't find him, at least he survived. And he, he goes away. So that, that's what I would have done here. Um, and again, going back to the Apex uh, idea of repositioning to, to reset. Again, th that's how I play. I always play long game. You could adjust it to your own play style. 
if you're more on the aggressive slide or uh, aggressive side and you want to kind of push the fight quicker than I do, because I'm always playing the long game, I'm willing to lose my, like I said earlier, sometimes I'm willing to lose my target. And if he leaves, then that's a draw. You know, I survive the raid um, and I don't die, which might work for the tournament, you know? Um, yeah. I think this idea might work for the tournament where um, are you, do you want that four points or you could, you could, you have a chance of getting both. You, you could reposition and then get behind them and then, oh, you find them, you play the long game, maybe take another 10, 15 minutes, you find them, kill them, that's four points, you get a dog tag, six points, and then you get the extract plus three points, so that's, you know, a fair amount. Or you do the reposition, you know, maybe it takes a while, 10 minutes, whatever, you don't see them, but at least you get a free three points. Yeah. Versus this where you just die, right? So that, that's kind of, I'm always going back to the whole um, reposition, completely reposition, reset the fight, because, uh, Again, this was. Uh, th this guy's looking for you, and you don't want to be. You just want to be in a position where if the guy's searching for you in your last known position, you're in a fairly predictable area where you were last seen. So just make it unpredictable. Play it like it's a chess game where. Oh, where, where am I? Where am I? That's what, this is why I love. Um, I love doing super long game repositions. It's because no one really expects it. Um, and it's. Uh, you just want to do something that, like, again, reset the fight where he has no idea what the hell's going on. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, so Lake in chat has a good point. Um, that the long game, like I said, so thank you for bringing that up. It's a three-hour tourney, so playing the long game like how I do it every time is probably not the most efficient way. But I think finding your balance, because you're, you're a much more aggressive player than I am, finding that balance of resetting the fight, maybe... Uh, Maybe because it's a three-hour tournament, just leave. Like, leave this. Don't try to fight this guy. He has a better position. He, he knows where you are. Just reposition. Maybe just leave. Take another fight. You know, go, pick your fights. So maybe don't fight this guy and, and leave. But hey, if, if you feel, um, I think at the end of the day, though, if you, uh, trust your gut. If you feel like you can, you can reposition and then beat this guy, then go for it. I think it'll go to your intuition at the end of the day. But, um, go... But I do want to bring up uh, some something with picking your fight. So that's something I talk about a lot in like most of my videos, and every time I talk about PvP, um, I th I the way I play again, it's going back to how I play. I usually commit to a fight if I know I have a chance. Uh, versus against all odds, let's say it's like a I don't know five man. Or maybe, let's say, th realistically, three man and I'm in, I'm stuck in a room or something, or three man and I'm in a really bad position, I'm willing to just F and leave and fight another day. Um, maybe maybe on the way out, I pick a fight with a solo who's lesser geared or something versus just uh, doing a whole Hail Mary against like a three man in a bad position against a geared squad. Uh, sometimes I'll risk it for the biscuit, though, for fun, for content. You know, you get the idea. You, you, know, you know what I mean. But since we're tournament... In the tournament setting, I would say picking your fights is probably going to be a big, a big thing, and um, so yeah, I, I would say another option for this if we're if you're tight for time, just leave, F fight another day, fight another fight. What do you feel? I feel it. Yeah, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Oh, cool. Yeah, let me know if like you think if you disagree with something as well, please. Like, um, what's cool is like I feel. I see that we have some similarities, but I also see where you come from in your background. You're P PvP heavy. I, I love how you play the game as well. Um, so if you disagree with something, if you like, oh, but I think I would rather tell me. I think it would be cool to bounce off each other. Intel, what's up, dude? Okay. Um, what else? Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much what it was. What what uh what it was for that fight. Let's move on to the next one. Can you hear me? Am I mute? I can hear you. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, so this one, well, the next one is M700. This is me getting clapped by guards. Okay, I did. I do remember you mentioning that you wanted also notes on dealing with AI, right? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, I died of AI. These guards, they ruined my day a lot. Yeah. They ruined all our days. So honestly, I thought that was a hit. Um. I there's nothing really too bad about this. Um, it, this is like you trusting your aim. You knew that you had this. You saw him just track, 
And then it was just unfortunate, man. I think like this happens to me a lot too, dude. Where easy shot and then you probably hit a shoulder or something. Or you probably hit another hitbox. Oh, that was fair play. That was fair play. But um I will say though that big when you heard this aggro, um I like how you, you committed to this guy. You're like, F it, I'm I'm going for this guy. Where is he? And you saw him running, tracked him. Me personally, every time I hear uh I hear AI like that and I have no idea where he is, I go, okay, I don't know where he is, I'm running. I'm like gonna run left here, maybe run deep or something. Just repos again, just like players, reposition and like re reset generally. At least I generally know where he is. Um try to get a an another angle. But honestly, that's 2020 hindsight here you, you honestly had this but you just didn't hit the head unfortunately and this is super tarkov moment i feel that do i have less chance of getting smoked by him if i'm right side peeking that with a lean yes better better 100 percent. so um what you could do that's that's thank you for asking that so you could just get on this box um and do an alt ear alt q or alt e rather um so with alt e Th there is like a as much as you're smooth leaning you're not invincible either there, there's a certain threshold where he will eventually headshot you and stuff but it you have more leeway you have more time before he aggros on or you have more yeah time to aim and advantage when you're when you're slow leaning so 100 percent when you're fighting bosses um even normal ai anything aim body in this game which is most ai get behind the box and um you could do the smooth lean yeah have you done the smooth lean much against AI? I haven't. No. I know okay. I can do it. I always just forget. Right. So um, take your time with AI. The one thing I will say about AI, especially bosses, even normal scabs, dude, respect them like they're PMCs. Um, like uh, sometimes if, if even a normal scab's on me and he sh he's like maybe getting a couple of shots or maybe he aggros me and um, I'm, I'm not ready for it yet, I'm going to stay in cover and wait for a, for a reset. So generally, this is not gospel, but in my head, it's about a four, almost five second reset. Um, so with the moment you hear, I hear his voice, I'll, I'll stay in cover for about like four-ish seconds. And then I can peek again where his aggro is reset. Because what happens if you hear their voice line and then you, you just re-peek too early, he's already lasering you or wall hacking you, if that makes sense, as AI. So hi... Yeah. Yeah, wait for the reset and then repeat. So it, it'll come in. I, it it sounds like it's taking too much time, but it's better than a death. So um, take your time with these guys. That's pretty much it. Yeah, so you already know about the right hand peak stuff, right? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Just that it's much more advantageous. Yeah, super. Um, so I, I I was never really sure. I, I've been playing this game for a while. The, the right hand peak has always been a topic for years, like always do right hand peaks. And I never really completely saw how OP it was up until like, I think two patches ago where um, I I was in reserve. I don't have that clip on me right now. I should have brought it out, but I was in reserve and there, I was in the underground area and I remember doing a left hand peak and I could... When I look at the clip, I could see literally... So I did a left-hand peek, and it was a hallway. And my enemy, my opponent had a right-hand peek. And so it's, it's a hallway. I'm left, he's right. We're on the same... We're, we're lining up on the same wall. I could see like a pixel of his shoulder. And um, the next raid, I went to his position. And I his position, he could see my whole body. But in my left-hand peek, I could barely see his shoulder. It, it's crazy. So right hand peaks do work a lot, even with AI. Um, with left hand peaks, when you're left hand peeking an AI, by the time you see the AI, you're too wide peaked from his from the AI's perspective where he's gonna beam you. So um, yeah, right hand peak is king pretty much. Um, try to get as many right hand peaks as you can. Of course, there are moments where you you can't get it. It's all good, but as much as possible at least. If you have the time to think about it, go for it. So this one, um, when I saw this dude, I was like, can relate. <laughs> this is just... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. Um, this is just... Honestly, this is also ours. Um, you're, it seems like your muscle memory is still getting the hang of um, the lead of Tarkov. Well, when to lead and when not to lead. This is still this is honestly something I also go through. Um, do you have any... Like, what do you feel about this clip? Like, what are you feeling? watching this uh, i went to nighttime and they didn't shoot me from that far away last time 
And this time he just ran up on me and killed me. So I just wasn't Okay, fair. wasn't really sure there. Yeah, so um yeah, so so the, the I, you already get the idea already of like I'm sure you're you're already self correcting your your like leading and stuff as you're playing, right? So the aiming is not your issue, it's more of the AI behavior. Yes. Yeah, okay, cool. Um yeah, so same here. Uh, I would go back to the principle earlier that uh, it looked like he was locked onto you. He was he could see you. So whether he makes a voice line or he's looking at you or he's sh showing any signs of aimbot or like looking at you, I would go back to what I said earlier is reset his aggro. Um, because uh, any like like let's say these gaps here on this like metal thing, if he sees a pixel of you, he's already aimbotted on you the whole time. So by the time you see him again, he, you know, this happens where you just get one tapped or two tapped. But anyway, um, just like I said, uh, if you don't have the best position and this is a really rough spot to, to fight him. Uh, same, same like the PMCs, man. Reset, dude. Reset uh, to your advantage. It'll, it'll take a little longer and stuff, but um, again, better than a death. Did you have any questions or anything or any comments on the last one, by the way? Not on that, no. Okay, That's cool. just me getting dumpstered. Yeah. <laughs> so this one, uh, dude, this was actually pretty fun to watch. I just killed one. Don't look through that fucking window. You could skip forward. It's just right, mostly right, yeah. running back and forth. So you're, so you're, you're three man. This labs. This is what like middle end of the raid. Where is this? Where are we at right now? Um. Yeah, I'd say we're about halfway through the raid. Halfway through the raid. Cool. So it's a. Uh, they're a three man. They're all juiced to the to the tooth. I'm gonna close fourth door just in case one tries to rotate. Um, so what happens here is your bud dies to a grenade, right? Yeah. One of your so one of his friends, the first guy at the door earlier, dies to a grenade in like three seconds here. There, that grenade pops off. Boom. His friend takes there. Fuck! That's a death. <laughs> yeah. That was a funny reaction. <laughs> so. At this moment, do you know how many are, um, uh, do you know how many, do you have full info of what's going on here? No, just one, we only have info on one guy. Okay, cool. So the one walking around, right, near? Yeah, he's on the right side there, right. yeah. Yeah. Wait, 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 sorry, let me go back a bit. The grenade timing. Okay, so, oh, who, whose grenade was the first one? Was that your grenade? Like your teammate's grenade? You know? I think so, yeah. Okay, the okay, first okay. The first gotcha. nade is him throwing. I was thinking it might have been like a double nade from their team. Anyway, so we, we don't know what the info is. Your friend peeks. What? Boom, takes the grenade again. Oh, and then, then, then we get the info on the second guy, right? That's the moment? I don't think we have info on the second guy yet. Even in, until I peek it. Because he told me to push, but I wasn't sure. So I just stayed back. Right. So um, at this moment, what? the mag dump right there. Did you know? So you knew there was a close right. Was that what you knew at this moment? Yeah, just the close right. Okay, guy. just the close right. So that mag dump was from down the hall. Did you realize that? No. I did not. No. Okay, so that mag dump was down the hall, right there. So we hear the footsteps of this guy. So we at least now we know um, there's the right. two guys, one down hurt. the hall, one here to the right. That guy heals. Um, okay. To be fair, when I first watched this earlier, um, I didn't. That didn't register in my head actually. That the mag dump was from down the hall. I think because every a lot was going on, um, even for me just watching this clip back, a lot was going on. So even I didn't recognize that when I first watched clips. So I'm sure same for you, chaos and stuff. So this guy heals in my head. I was like, don't. In, I remember watching this earlier before you were on the call, and I said push the heal. And then I was like, wait, wait, wait. no, 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 don't push the heal because we don't know how many they are. And I like how you didn't. He threw a fog. That's why. I, thought I, I love how you didn't push the heal. Push the heal. Because it's super tempting to always push the heal. See, throw a flashbang. Are you heavy? You have like stuff in your bag? I don't think I had a lot, no. Okay, so it's just your gear, your your general loadout. Yeah. Yeah, it looked yeah I think it's pretty low level, so. Right. It looked a little heavy when you strafe to the left there. So you hear the guy moving to the right. He heals again. 
So, so I didn't know this was a smoke. I thought I was throwing a frag here, <laughs> and it bounced off the railing right. and I shit my pants. Honestly, when I, okay, so the okay. I've been having bad I luck with again. these nades. Okay, so the one thing I will say, um, sorry, no, I'm not from Hong Kong, I'm from the Philippines, but uh, so when I was watching this earlier, the whole time when so your teammates died and everything, what I would have done again going back was I would have fought from another angle. Um, I know, well, we'll talk about the result of the fight. I don't want to spoil it for people watching, but uh, I already saw the result of this ra of this fight. But assuming we don't know the, the result of this fight, I would have oh. went up through the door, just fight from somewhere else, right? Again, going back to okay. repositioning. Um, just yeah. because this it's one doorway, these guys can just pre-aim the door. Um, you're going to have to, every time you peek another guy, like whether it's a solo or a duo, let's say it's just a 1v1. Yeah, he's at the right side, um, but... One, it's a left-hand peek, and then second, it's that whole idea of his crosshair placement is just like, you know, door. And then you have to scan as you peek. So just your chances are a little lower. So what I would have done, probably go up, take this door, go somewhere else kind of thing. Yep. Um, reposition from behind him or something. But I understand, I you said earlier, labs isn't your best in terms of layout, yeah? Yeah, I've played it like less than five times. Okay, so fair. I, I understand as well that you, you didn't want to F it up. Um, you probably weren't sure exactly where to where to reposition. Yes, exactly. Okay. I don't know where these hallways and stairs lead to. Okay, completely fair. Okay, um, but yeah. Anyway, just for reference, because th this info nonetheless could be um, useful for any other map. Is just like re fight somewhere else. Again, reset the fight. Going back to the apex idea, reset the fight where it's fair or to your advantage. Like the whole time when I was watching this, I didn't see the end yet. I was like, reposition, reposition. This is tough, this is tough. That's an impact. So this is where I saw that second guy. Right, when so I that's the first that time after saw throwing the nade. Fair, yeah. fair. Is there a better angle for me to throw that nade to get into the corner where he was? No. Nah, because those I weren't do, affecting him at all. I do the same. Um, I do the same. I'd probably bounce it off that that wall because if you try to throw it from the left side he might catch you he might just like shoot you down so i would, I would have done the same throw it off the wall um so the, the one thing with grenades in this game is that they're so scary that they're also useful just to push someone away or for you to make a move so um you'll see some people do this every now and then is some have you seen people push their own nade i mean this is not yeah. a situation exactly where i would do that but sometimes you know people push their own nade or or um i'm not one to push my own nade because uh, that's not my play style but i know that's an effective one what i do is i throw a nade and then the moment um he starts let's say he reacts he runs away or something i also start it, it triggers my reposition so he's running away he's thinking holy shit grenade and then the grenade pops off there's an explosion noise and it completely masks my footsteps that running away and he still thinks i'm holding the angle and i'm already re repositioning so you could use grenades as well in, in that sense okay um to like mask your footsteps um throw it uh where because my idea when i throw a grenade and reposition is that whenever i throw a grenade it makes the other person think that i am ready to, i'm about to peek i'm about i'm gonna throw the nade i'm gonna commit to this peak which is the case for me when, when someone throws a grenade at me i'm like okay is he gonna push so sometimes I'll use that time to reposition um, or just like double back or something. Um, so th that wasn't a bad grenade, honestly. Like even if it didn't hit him, it's still holding him back. It's still holding him back. So it gives you time to think versus him just bum rushing you. This is your CSGO um, crosshair placement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> I know crosshair placement is especially huge in this game. Yeah, hundred percent, dude, hundred percent. Like it, it is negated at times with like desync and stuff, but whatever, it is, hundred percent is. Like you felt it, right? How like example in CS:GO, you're you're holding an angle, uh, where you have a complete advantage. You know, you crosshair placement. The guy peeks and he's usually dead when you just tap him in the head with your crosshair placement. Yep. In this game, sometimes the with peekers advantage and desync and stuff sometimes that's not the case so that is something that's tough as well with this game with its current desync feel do you know what the tick rate of the servers is in I this game no, does anyone know i have no clue actually that's a good question 
because Peeker's advantage does feel huge in this game. Super huge, dude. Super huge. It's been a problem since for years. Years. That, that was actually nuts, dude. Um, so... Yeah, that was just skill. GG. I think I killed him through the door. So that was a tarp, I think. Was that a door or a tarp? I mean, maybe that was a door. And this was just... This was... This, honestly, this double kill just shows how good you are at FPS games. This was just classic crosshair placement, classic movement. I love how you peeked this angle to the right where you peeked wide. You didn't... You love it. The crosshair placement was on point. Yeah. I love how, how your teammates hyped you up. <laughs> yeah, that was shaking, man. I... Yeah, so about that, about shaking. Um, So, I will say that most, if not all, maybe most, maybe not all, but most players are shaking. Even I, I still freaking shake in, in fights. But as I get more experience in the game, I still shake. I, my heart still goes up, but I can deal with it better. I'm like, oh, it's, it's that, I'm used to this feeling. I feel like everyone still feels that no matter how much you play this game. Because um, that I think that's why even people with like 10,000 hours still enjoy this game. Because they can play this game for 10k hours and they still get that feeling. I think that's why we enjoy Tarkov. So that feeling of, of like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, here we go, here we go. I feel like um, your your opponent feels that too, so it's it's kind of fair play. I, that's, at least that's how I always thought about it. Cool. That was super clean, man. Like nothing to say there. Um, again, I think the the overall advice I've been giving, like you're 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 pretty nuts already. Your crosser placement on point, movement's pretty good for for someone with 200 hours. Everything's good. It's always just about repositioning. Yeah. Like it's all. Just reposition is is the only thing that. I've been um, really preaching about, but I love how. Um, wait, how did you get this angle? Let me let me check. Ollie, that was so smart. So you threw a grenade, and then even if so, that's what I'm. This is what I meant. This grenade, even if it was short by half the hallway, um, that guy still got out of the way. Because grenades are so scary in this game, so it gave you the advantage. He he unpeaked the angle for you to take it right, and th yep. that's how you can use grenades. Perfect. Like you played it so well. This is so good. And this was just so clean. GG. All right, perfect. Cool. Next. Um, yo, QC, what's up, dude? Donzilla. Again, for everyone just hopping in the stream right now, um, we're doing a, uh, we're we're helping a friend um with advice about Tarkov because he's joining a tournament in a few days. He's new to the game, but he has a really solid foundation. So this reserve. Um, okay, wait. Someone in chat said 120 tick servers back in 2021 Tarkov. T server tick rate doesn't feel like 120 anymore. <laughs> yeah, it sure doesn't feel like it's 120. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I honestly don't know anymore. So, okay. So let's get context of this one. So you're in reserve. This is um, D2. I, I mean, underground bunker. What's happening here? Okay, so he killed my teammate in the hallway upstairs. I'm the last one alive. Mm, okay, okay, okay. okay. And you guys were... How'd you end up here? Where were you initially? Uh, we were downstairs fighting raiders. Mm. We were looking for raiders. I don't think we were fighting any. And you got third partied? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So how... Why was your friend... So your friend died here in this hallway? Uh, yeah, I think so. Like uh, down the hall more. Why was he there and you were here? Just wondering. Um, I'd have to go back and watch it again to okay. figure out why I'm so far behind him there. Right, right. Is, is it just like you guys split up and then you guys are just like doing your own thing kind of thing? Yeah, I think okay, so. Okay. Yeah, that's right. That's all I wanted to know. Just wondering how you ended up in this situation. Yeah. So your friend is, uh, what, right side of the hall, left side of the hall? Right side of the hall. Right side of the hall. And then what, what is going through your mind right now? What do you, what's your info that you know? Um, just that it's one guy. One guy, and, and then that's that's it. Do you know where he is? No, like left or um, right. Last known position was down the hall on the right. Okay, cool. So another one. Okay, so the reason why I was asking left or right was, uh, what I would have done was reposition even harder. I'm trying to think the map wise, but there's a way you could get to you know how there's like, um, the le end of the left hall. I probably would have ended up there. Yeah. Um, just because, just to guarantee that no one's on my left side. This is, uh, like, just, I don't remember what happened at the end of this fight, but um, at this moment, are you not sure if he's left or right, or are you, like, 
pretty sure he's on the I'm right side. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm okay. not sure. Gotcha. So um, that feeling of like, shit, is he fifth, left or right? I'm not sure. I, I would rather approach this fight from the end of the hall, just so I can guarantee that no one's around. Okay, I do. That happens to me a lot, by the way. When I was when I was new to the game, that happened to me way too much. That grenade throw with a sprint. I feel that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm still like, I'm pretty good with grenades in other games. In this game, I'm... <laughs> I swear no, half of them land in front of my own feet. I feel that. Happens to me a lot. Still happens to me every now and then, but... Yeah, completely understandable. So throw another nade. Okay, so yeah, you're you're not sure. You're checking left, checking right. You key can't be on your left. He's gonna be on your right. I need a right side peek. You there, said there it there. You needed a right here. side peek. True. The only other thing you can do is with your light and laser on, walk down that fucking hall. Oh, so you did reposition. I forgot what the, what the fight this was. So yeah, that, that's what I would have done already from the start. Just go here and then go to the end of the hall kind of thing. Mm, I like this. You're ready, dude. This is already like what we were talking about all day. Is that reposition thing? Is it what you're doing? You're just resetting? Yeah, just okay, trying perfect. to find yeah. a new angle, try to find him. Yeah, hundred percent. Exactly. Oh, how do you end up here? Did you know he ended up here or you were just looking for him? I was just looking for him. Yeah, okay. I heard and him. And then this is the first time you heard him. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah, because I didn't notice. Like, did did we hear him on the way here? Not at all, right? No, not until okay, I. So this is the first time. Came to this hallway. Yeah, I'm... You are fucked. Pulls out again. Oh, dude, good push. Oh, good push. Son of a bitch. Not such a good push. Okay, so um, dude, th this feel this feels like a clip from my own stream. <laughs> but, um, but dude, you played it so perfect. But I feel this. Um, so this is something that happened happened to me recently. So when the dude's mag dumping, um, I tend to repeat as well. Same like this. What I realized, what I'm trying to correct. This is something I've been working on recently. Is when it was so. I had a super similar fight recently where I, it's actually in my latest video, I peek, same, 50-50, no one really shot each other, he starts mag dumping. Instead of re-peeking, wait. Wait for him to yeah. either end his shots, maybe reload. It looks like he's just pre-firing until he gets out of the way. So just wait and then push once he's out of ammo or, yeah. Because the problem with this, when people are just like pre-firing, you know, we, we literally... Um, take the shot we catch the bullet right this this literally um happened to me like twice or thrice in like the last week or two and i remember saying right after the moment on stream like oh my god i should have not re-peaked right away but yeah i think i say that at the end there that i should have waited for him to dump his mag and then peek oh perfect that was bad i don't have an automatic gun there you fucking did everything there perfectly. I peeked him while he was shooting. I should have waited for yeah, him to perfect. Yeah, what your per what your partner said. You played that perfect, dude. That was like everybody right super now. clean, honestly. Um, just the repeat. Look, that, that's you know, I've been playing. I have five k hours, and I still do that. <laughs> I still repeat like an idiot. Um, but it's cool though that the fact that you you see these already again. It just goes back to your ten thousand hours of FPS games in general. Like you already know He's what's about happening. To cut through the door. It's an MCX. It is, right? Yep. Are you voice line? No, that was them. They went straight to the right here. They Dude, got one. That was a crazy oh, point fire. It. So this one was just uh, the... To be fair, that was kind of 50-50. You did have the first shot on him, but we don't know what that looked like on his <sighs> side of the screen with desync and, and stuff. Um, This is classic. This is another thing of like... The reason why right-hand peak is such a big thing here is because everything that Tarkov is, with like desync and all that, there's so many other factors that are out of our control that us as Tarkov players, we're just trying to take every single advantage you can get. Um, if there was, honestly, it. if there was not much like, I feel like this was partly desync as well, but nonetheless, with everything involved, um, I would have, again, you just said it on 2020 hindsight, but right-hand peak, try to get a right-hand peak, maybe, um, maybe instead of peaking like that, uh, you could sprint, do a sprint to the to 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 a right hand peak. You'll see a lot of people okay. do this. Um, so just double double key sh shift sprint. Um, usually it's a very so it's a very I narrow um, 
this hallway right there so if you if you sprint peek this this is the gap that this guy has to react right he's unlikely gonna kill you um at least in my head if i sprint that i'm probably gonna survive um he'll react maybe he'll hit you maybe maybe he gets a lucky head tap but um in my head if you sprint to this left cover and maybe try to get a right hand peek um you, you have a better chance i don't think he'll get to kill you with his reaction time and what's also nice about sprinting to this side is you could either God sprint to that it. side and then do a right hand peek or you can stick to the left hug the left wall get in this door and yeah. play around with it you know play 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 chess you know am i gonna peek here am i gonna peek here am i gonna peek here you know what i mean so yeah. um yeah that could have been it uh but looking back this to be fair this was also kind of a 50 50 fight i think either of you could have won this but uh you know just being 2020 hindsight what you could have done better i guess that's one thing is uh run, just sprint you've, you've done this right like sprint to the other side you've done that a lot i'm sure yeah yeah like, i mean a decent amount like sometimes like a lot of my fights end up like this where i just hard peek the angle and they yeah. end up winning so so something that like you know how like people run through run past hallways sprint hallways to get info sprint doors to get info you, do you do that yeah like with a with a not, free not look? enough okay not enough so that, that's what you what you could do here is like sprint while looking right so you, you at least have info while running kind of thing maybe even do a sprint jump to get to the other side right um so that, that's why like get to the other side do a right hand peek or you have this whole doorway and this room to to play around with them you know um what i love about these kinds of fights if it, let's say you do get to this doorway here i love the game of like chess of like where am i gonna go where am i gonna go you know juking your opponent am i gonna peek here i'm gonna peek there i'm gonna flank or something so yeah just that but totally understand why you hard peek this sometimes Dead. i do that he's low and then this one yeah i remember watching this off stream you got some kind of like, fucking problem okay so I think you muted. Sorry, no, no, no. I, I just shut up. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I was watching the clip, but um, I was going to fast forward, and then I realized that there's a lot going on. I love the 20 flashlights. Yeah, I thought it would be fun to put seven flashlights on my gun. <laughs> I'm just here to kill scabs, okay? Please. Oh, bro. So this was smart. I loved how you backed up here and then use your your uh your range. So what's funny here, see this nade yeah. hits the fucking wall? That's yeah. the only reason I ran to the bush. <laughs> but So <laughs> Yeah, so I didn't realize that when I, I kinda watched it quickly when when you first showed me this clip off stream. So we actually talked about this I, I saw this clip earlier off stream, but um watching it back I just realized that now as well. Then again, perfectly played. Um, this is exactly what I've done. So, uh, you were, yeah, you saw this PMC. I'm just here to kill it, I, I know why you went this direction because the other direction were windows. That was going to be rough. Yeah, it's okay, um, please. So, you went here. <laughs> and it's either you commit to this this angle in, out in the open or you find your first cover. And, uh, wait, this is like a super, I'm sure, heart racing moment as well. Oh yeah. This is super smart one thing, though. Uh, one thing interesting here is uh, when you watch it from his perspective, I have mm -hmm. a one-way peek. He can't see me there. Ah, uh, interesting. Smart. Then, dude, this and is his, like grizzly slugs. Yeah, that, you, you know what's really fucked about that is uh, he shoots me, I get aim punched, uh -huh. and the aim punch is what gives me the headshot. <laughs> like I had no, yeah. I should not have got that kill. So these are grizzly slugs, right? Yep. Dude. He, so you got slug, it's either leg meta or face tap, not even a headshot, it has to be a face tap. Can you get him right in the face? <laughs> Honestly, head, aim punch or not, that, um, th that also goes to your natural mechanical skills for sure. And then honestly, smart prone here. It worked oh. out. So this one, when you're prone like this, this is a 50-50, right? It's either you get the kill or he just mag dumps you well because you're you're a stationary target and your your aim just nails him. That, that's crazy. Just watching this tracking, I don't think I would have killed that guy. <laughs> I don't think I would have killed that guy. <laughs> this is your, uh, again, like I said, you have very good mechanical skills. I love it. Nice. GG. But 
I mean, going back, um, the, the way you played it, all the, yeah, okay, it was an accidental grenade, but played exactly like that without the grenade. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that, that's what it was. It was perfectly Directly in front of me. He's looking down my sight line right now. Hit him twice. Um, one second. Let's catch up with chat. On you a few months ago, love your whole attitude and style of gameplay. Hey, thank you. Appreciate it. It's come. But yeah, welcome in. If you guys are just hopping in, uh, we're, we're helping uh, a new friend just break down his fights and his play styles and his play style because in a few days he's joining a tournament. And we're going to help best we can. So we're just watching Find the box on the left. Fights. He blacked out one of my There's arms. There's another one. So you, you meant to go here to get to cover, reset, heal, yeah? Yeah, I didn't know that he could swing yeah. on me here. I wasn't sure. Fair. I would have... But, but you were ready anyway. You kind of knew at this moment, yeah? yeah? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fair, fair. I, so would you push him there after I um, shot him on the hallway, or would you duck and... Nah, I would have not pushed. Like, I'm, the way you're playing right now is exactly how I would play as well. So he... Because the thing is, we don't know if he has a teammate or not. Like, so you're asking if would, would, would I have committed here? Yes. No. I would just reset. Um, reset for the fight, which is kind of what you did. Because if you push it, um, one, he could be prepared. Maybe he does a counter push or uh, he'll just hold the angle on you. Or he has a teammate. I think the ver it's, yeah, odds are against you here. So I would have done the same reset. Um, rough spot here. Uh, honestly... Like, if I was an autopilot, I'd probably end up here as well. I'm not going to act like I'm super smart and amazing that I wouldn't do this either. I probably would have ended up here as well. But um, for a moment, like, while I'm healing here, because I, I think you realize in a moment, like, oh, shit, he could end up from here. The moment yeah. I realized this, I think you and I would have realized at this exact same moment. Because labs isn't, like, um, isn't like as muscle memory for me as other maps. Just, like, you know, we're the same. Um while watching this clip, it triggered in my mind the exact moment you realized, oh shit, I could get, I could get uh, peaked from here. It, it clicked in my mind as well. But the moment this happens, I would have backed up towards my teammate. Um, at least, like, generally where I know it's safe because your teammate's behind you. Get another angle just because uh, it's actually not bad angle. You are right-hand peak versus left, but um, just the fact that you have no cover and it's um, you hit him or you don't. Like, I, Did you get hit? again, this is just because my, I know where my mechanical skills are. If a guy peeks me here and I'm waiting for this, I don't trust myself to win this fight. But it could be different for you. Maybe you're a little more confident in your, in your aim, in your recall control. Did you just get hit? And honestly, you see the flashlight, you're prone. I thought this was a win. Like, what? Did... <laughs> I thought that was a GG. I thought, like, oh, you're going to clap him. I but, think a uh, big thing there is that your aim sense is really low when you're prone. True. So I was tracking a little right. bit behind him. Right, instead right. in front of him. Is it? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. You're right, you're right. Aim sense is... When you said that, I was like, is it? You're right, it is. That's fair. So this was just... I think this is just experience, I guess, right? Like, this is just... Um, this is where you learned that, oh, yeah, um, next time this happens, your muscle memory is probably going to correct this. But I feel like, I, no, as much as I said, like, um, back back up and stuff, you, this was actually a, pro, a good play. You see his flashlight, mag dump it with, you had BP rounds in this? Yes, BP. Yeah, he, he probably should have died, but it was just one of those moments. It happens. I think that was no, fair. I, I let him up and dead. Yeah. Um, but... How, considering how cornered you are, that was well played. You proned and then you caught him at the right moment. Um, just like just an option in the future again, like like what I said earlier, maybe back up to your teammate, do a complete reset, get to heal your arm and everything. Um, where was your teammate? Other side of the. Uh... So he's uh, down the hall on my left. Down on. Oh, okay. Or, okay gotcha, sorry, gotcha. To my, from where I am right now in the clip, he's on the right side down. Ah, down okay, okay. Boxes. So, so if you turn around, he's to your left. Like yeah, if I like turn if I turn right and go out, then he's on my left. Okay, okay. So yeah, so like um, maybe back up, uh, then you know reset. Re again, goes back to the whole thing we've been saying this throughout the whole twelve minutes is back up, reset the fight, do a complete reset, replan things, yep. work with your teammate. So 
yeah that's pretty much like that was honestly it was cool that first of all thanks for putting the effort to put this together <laughs> um and second going through all the fights that was honestly like the dude you have such a good foundation with 200 hours in um what's what's exciting about for me is that uh when if you told me without seeing any of these clips you're like dude i have 200 hours i'm joining a tournament i'd be like "Ooh, there's a lot to work on so where do we start but the only thing so far is just repositioning (laughs) that's it and that's a good place to start it's um it's the whole idea of uh this happens to a lot of people especially when you're new you remember you mentioned earlier where you were paralyzed here um the anchoring like anchoring down like your feet are bolted to the ground that happens to a lot uh especially if you're a little newer to the game because of the nerves and you're like what do i do your, your decision making goes out the window and you're kind of just like a zombie at, at that point so um i think uh just if you're not sure what to do like at this moment instead of being a sitting duck uh of course it's situational it's not the case for every situation but instead of like being a sitting duck just keep moving versus like what's gonna happen next i think for like very panicky moments try to if you're already running double or triple the distance of your running (laughs) and just reset if you're in a panic mode that's what that's what i'd say so yeah i think that's pretty much it you have anything you wanna anything uh no that's pretty insightful yeah so yeah hope hope that was um I hope uh, it was worth the time. Uh, yeah, and, and if you have any questions or whatever, nothing? No, just trying to take it all in. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, but, you okay, so you, you have a really good foundation, like I said. And what I'm excited for, what I was going to say earlier, was that what's nice about this tournament for you is that you are a complete underdog. Where, let's say, you know, wherever you place... It doesn't matter because <laughs> the fact yeah. that you have 200 hours and you're already competing at 200 hours, I would have not done that. I would have, dude, 200 hours, me, comp- no way. The fact that you're competing at 200 hours, whether, wherever you place, it's like, I have 200 hours. I'm still learning the game. But the thing is with what I've seen on in these clips is that you can actually place pretty well, if not even win. Um, and I, I mean that with confidence because because I have seen people who have like double your hours. So you have 200 people with 400, 800 hours and they don't play like you. Um, th- like you, you look like if, if I judged your clips based on just complete, I, I just saw your clips online. I would think you have at least a little over 500 or maybe under a thousand. And you're a decent, you're good. You're a good mechanically skilled player with approaching a thousand hours. That's what I think you're at. So, um, Damn. yep, there, there are little things that you could tell with experience, like we were talking about the repositioning, the anchoring your feet and stuff like that and, um, whatever. But generally, dude, you have very good, um, you have a very good foundation. And what's nice about this tournament, it's public servers. So your experience in these raids will be similar. It's not going to be tournament servers where everyone's cracked, you know? Um, and, uh, cause I, I remember, so going for me um i don't remember was it four tournaments how many tournaments did pestily hold i think it was four or three i don't remember so have you heard of the punisher tournaments back then um no um uh, okay so you here so pestily you know you know pestily of course yeah yeah okay yeah. so pestily hosted um four tournaments uh or three i forget um it was one of the more popular tournaments because of course it's pestily and what's the, what was nice about best league tournaments was they were simple it was just you go in and kill there were not much uh points about this and that it's like get as many kills period um so in his first iteration it was factory public servers so i joined all of these that was back in 2019 until about 2020 um so the first one was factory let me check let me actually check is it uh pestily punisher tournament four so it was only three. It was three. Okay. So the first tournament, um, in the first tournament, uh, it was factory public servers, and the goal was as many kills as you can. That's it's similar to this one. Okay. Uh, I didn't place well. I was uh, I I, it was my first tournament experience in Tarkov, and what I learned from the first tournament was, I 
I, I tried the W key that whole tournament. I was like, play fast three hours. It was the same. Three hours, as many kills as you can in public factory servers. I literally W keyed every single raid thinking, play fast, get kills fast. If I die, it's all good. Reset. doesn't matter. I was W keying my heart off. And I did horrible <laughs> because it just was not my play style. And that's when I learned. that That was like a big learning phase for me where it's something I want you to approach the tournament with, which is do um as you approach the play style don't think too much about um how others are playing it or don't think too much about what's the best way to play it um on paper but play your play style like whatever is best for you and um it was in this i think the second tournament was uh i think it was factory was it factory or labs i think it was factory private servers um but anyway, I think it was the third the third one. The third one was Private Servers Labs. And in that tournament, I placed uh, somewhere between 25 and 30. I think it's 26, 27. And it was, uh, it, I don't remember how many people were in our region. I think it was like between uh, 60 to 80. I'm not sure. But um, I placed top 50% at least. And um, that was a tournament I was very proud of myself because approaching that tournament, I knew that I was going to play my style um i was like i'm not gonna w key i'm not gonna i'm gonna play slow i'm gonna play as slow as yep. i can and then do my thing and that's when i did my best it, it, um and uh I, I was what was nice about that tournament was um there were some raids where i didn't get a kill because i played slow maybe but at least i gotta survive so i didn't lose a kit i didn't lose money um it's like a draw and you come back and you still have that kit to to snowball but uh my point is anyway from saying all this was that the things i learned from from competing in those tournaments back in 2019 2020 was one i do super garbage when i'm forcing a play style that i don't know how to play so if i'm if i'm not an aggressive player and i'm playing aggressive then you know and vice versa if i'm playing super slow um which was my problem in the second tournament the second tournament i believe was private servers and factory um uh, I, I forget if it was factory labs but i remember the second tournament i was thinking okay the first tournament i uh I played fast. I was double king. The second one, I'm gonna play slow. I slowed it down so much. I slowed it down way too much. I didn't get anything done. <laughs> and um, and then it was in the third where I kind of was like, you know, what? I'm gonna just come into this, play how I play as if it's public servers, and it would work best for me. So I think at the end of the day, no matter what I've been saying today, just stick to what you're good at, what you're most comfortable with. Um, and uh, the in terms of play, so we're talking about play style. In terms of play style, play what you're most comfortable with. And uh, just like what we said, just correct those things we talked about, mostly repositioning and stuff. Because all these repositions will just make you survive more. And so much better to survive uh, than uh, you got to survive. Maybe you don't get a kill. Maybe maybe because you repositioned, you lost the guy. But at least you get the three points. And maybe get another kill on the way out from like a Timmy, right? You find like a level five dude on the way out. Free kill. <laughs> so I think that's one thing I want you to come and determine with as well is um, you don't have to fight every fight. Pick your fights. And uh, economy-wise, what are you feeling? At least for the tournament. Let me bring out the... Uh... Am I on mute? Oh, no, I'm not. oh, you're good. Okay. I'm listening. <laughs> so what, what are you thinking economy-wise for the tournament? Like, um, what do you feel about the money? Do you feel like it's enough? I think it's enough, but I don't know what to build there because they give you stacks of ammo for each of the different weapon types. And okay. it's only stuff available on traders. Right. So I'm not too sure what to go in with. Okay, so let's do um let's let's okay, so this is officially we'll go through the tournament rules and everything. So these are the tournament rules. Uh so I uploaded on Imager. Um how to play each participant will have three hours to get the most points. Each phase of the tournament, quarterfinals, semifinals, final will will last one day for a total of three days per tournament. Okay, whatever. The first phase of each tournament will see 50 participants of these 25 will be admitted to the second stage. So you have to do top 50%? Yeah, top 50% each day. That's super doable. Holy crap. Um, only time participants will compete in the last phase. And speaking of that too, the, the point structure, I did some math, right? How long would you say is an average raid length? Mm, like as a PMC? Oof. Uh, depends, like would you say 20 like, minutes is yeah, fair? I was about to say like 15 to 20, yeah. So if I if I did twenty minute raids and I get one PMC kill and a tag that's six points each, right? Yeah. I'm only getting fifty or so, fifty four points. In three plus hours. Plus the survivals. 
so I'm getting about 100 points. Whereas if I just survive every raid, seven minute raids, mm -hmm. I'm going to get 75 points for just that. 100%. So I, I feel the same. I feel the same that you want to play the survive game. Uh, has this? Has I, I don't know much about this tournament. Has this happened before? Is this, this is not the first tournament of this. This is not the first. No, their last one they ran was a couple years ago. Like it's been a while since these guys have done one. Did you see and this what, tournament? What's that? Sorry. Did you see what was the average points people were getting? I didn't know. I couldn't find any of that. Okay, I was actually fair. trying to find it. Um. But yeah, I agree. I agree with the uh, with the uh, idea that. We're gonna prioritize surviving. So let's go through all the rules and we'll talk about that. Hold that thought. So the map. So the maps. Um, Zach here can can access his labs, customs, reserve. Again, if you guys are hopping on, we're talking with Zach right now, who we met yesterday. He's competing in a tournament in a few days. He wanted advice about about how to approach it. So that's what we're doing today. These are the rules. So we'll go through it and then we'll break it down even more. Um, so they're only allowed to play labs, customs, reserve. Um, they can. It depends on them. That's wherever they're allowed to get um points for the tournament. Uh, participants will receive the start of the raid directly from... Okay, you can't start without authorization. Fair. After a raid, each participant will be able to switch for a new game. All participants will have a personalized profile. So they're using a, a profile, um, a Tarkov account provided by the tournament um, organizers. Players will need to use automatic server selection throughout the tournament. Dude, that's rough. I mean, no, for me. Yeah. Because, like, when I use automatic, I get thrown into, like, 250 ping servers. <laughs> Oh, yeah, because I live on the west. Uh -huh. I get uh, all of the servers, pretty much. Hmm. So, uh, you yeah, same. same. I, I, that, that would break me, if ever. The use of screen containers allowed. At the end of three hours, each player still in the game will have to exit the raid by disconnection and or suicide. Fair. The final rankings of each stage of the tournament will be calculated based on the following points. Five points for each boss kill. Four points for each PMC kill. Three points for a survive. So what this means, we confirmed it. It literally just means if you survive the raid. If you get a survive status, three points, which is huge. Three points for raider kills. Two points for boss guards. Um, two points for PMC dog tags. Found in, it has to be found in raid, by the way. Um, so if you die with it in your in your butt, not counted. And then 0.5 for scav kills. You know, honestly, the 0.5 is going to be useful too. And then um, what do they start with? They start with 10 mil, 20k USD, 20k euros. It's going to be a max level trader account at 42. Skills will be level 35, which is pretty high. Clothes, um, loyalty max, flea market closed. They have a gamma, um, workbench level 1. Prohibited items, thermals, grenade launcher, T7, or whatever. It doesn't really matter. Special items. Uh, so special items means you start with this, I assume, yeah? Yep, this okay. is in the stash. So this, the account they're given will start with this. Uh, 600 BP rounds, that's huge. 600 A551s, 60 M62s. 600, sorry, 600 BS rounds, 10 AFAX, 5 Golden Stars, Vaseline, Serve, okay, yeah, that's pretty basic stuff. Um, grenades, keys, factory key, 5 five lab key cards. Oh, interesting, interesting that, I, I didn't even think of that, that if you want to go labs, you get 5 cards and you have to buy, so that's going to go, but anyway, yeah. assuming someone's a labs main. Uh, miscellaneous, 12 aquas, 12 peas, 12 discards, ammo box. Okay, cool. Um... Wait, there's a way to convert the 20k euros to rubles, is there? I swear, I remember, wait, what did we used to do? Wasn't there a thing, because uh, there was a tournament where we had euros and we converted it to either USD or, or rubles. I forget how we did it. Does anyone know? Do you know? I have no clue. I, I swear to God there was a way, I'm, I can't think about it right now though, but... Um... There was, I remember one of the tournaments, I think it was the pun, the third Punisher tournament past today. We had Euros, and I think we converted it somehow. Um, oh, I think buy you, we're gonna, you buy stuff with the Euros. So I think there are some stuff in, in I think, Skier that he sells with the Euros. Just spam buy it and then sell it for rubles. Okay. I think that's what we did. Yeah, because the Euros aren't really worth yeah, anything, right? Like, what, what do they sell? Yep, exactly. So um, you're going to just check... I guess min max, uh, just ch min max it. I guess uh, when in your own free time, just check the what's the best thing to buy and sell. Buy, buy use all your twenty k euros on a certain item and then sell it for rubles. Um, so that that's what it is. So you'll get an additional. I don't know how much that is in rubles, but yeah, that's what you want to do. Um, other than that, okay, let's go to um, let's talk about points. So you're right. I I one hundred percent agree that I think prioritizing survives is the key so if if i was gonna play this tournament how i would approach it we're in the same mindset i think it's get as many quick survives as you can um plus 
picking your fight. So I think I would only pick a fight where um, I'm like, if I'm going to fight, I'm confident. It's I think it'll be based on gut feel because of course we can't tell what the hell is a fight that is worth picking. I think um, like how I would pick a fight. Let's say I'm I'm just running across the map trying to get a because okay, th to get a survive you can't just run through. Obviously, you're gonna have to get a couple kills. Um, how I would approach it would probably be I'm gonna go and try to kill scabs. So go to the safest. Uh, I would run to the safest nearest scav spawn. Safest and nearest has to be safest has to be nearest, uh, and kill a couple scavs, get a few point five half points for scav kills, and then that will add to me not getting a run through. I think run throughs will be painful for you. That's gonna be yeah. painful. So you want to make sure you don't get a run through, kill scavs, and then in terms of picking fights, I think I would commit to a fight if it is completely based on info. So you're gonna if I hear like a solo weight like an old gas or something or whatever and i hear that he has like a pp19 or whatever gun and i'm like oh my god he's not juiced full send um that's at least how i would approach it probably uh i would if i if i feel like a certain um pmc is like too geared out it'll be 50 50 if i have an advantage on him i'll, I'll commit to it but i think in the moment and with adrenaline coming in i think you're gonna be I, with how I've seen you play, I think you're going to be risking fights, which is fair. I think um, there will be some fights you're willing to risk because you might kill a Chad and he, it's it's the snowball you needed. Um, yeah. You, know, you might kill kill a dude and he has like a meta RD, slick and everything, and boom, you're you're fully kitted, and then you just snowball for the next hour. Uh, what you'll need, at least based on my experience so far and what I've seen and what I've played, is what's important for these three hour uh, tournaments is it's all about snowballing like snowball period how many snowballs can you get how long can your snowball go for so definitely survive as long as you can but yeah i, I agree survive um you, you did say earlier seven minute survives i think that's amazing but part of the seven minutes is trying to pick scabs up trying to pick scabs apart um so play as fast as you can but we were talking about scabs earlier still fairly take your time with scabs I think um, yeah. you, you'll, uh, what I'm thinking is uh, you still want to take a time with scabs because of the fact that you know you just don't want to die. You want to play as fast as you can, but do everything in your power to not die where you can um, you can get the easy three points. So it's going to be a balance of, of, yes, there's time pressure, but at the same time, take your time that you can get a couple of kills and leave. So that's, that's how okay. I'd approach it. Yeah. Um, I'm just trying and my best to say don't rush yeah yeah be patient right yeah for practicing what would you what would you be practicing here okay so good question um what i'll be practicing is what the loadout's gonna be that's the main thing because you 100 percent won't be running i don't uh well no we're not gonna say 100 percent, but depends on you i don't know the math of the 10 million stuff but um i think what i'd be doing is I the first thing you need to do is find the perfect loadout for you that's enough to, to die with. Uh, what I mean by that is you want to find that middle ground loadout where yes you're efficiently using your rubles, but at the same time it's not a super mega Chad kit where a couple of deaths and you're almost out of money. Yeah. Um. So, uh, in my head, I'll, I'll, I'd probably rat rig my way through. Um. Again, I, I didn't really do, really do the math, but um probably rat rig with the best budget build you can think of um that you prefer again use your favorite guns but have backups because for sure there'll be trader limits 100 percent. so um, yeah i'm thinking because like they give you the free ammo right so i'm yeah. thinking like run a couple ak 104s mm -hmm. and then if i lose all that ammo then hop over to peacekeeper and run some m4s yeah, I, I no, definitely I'm not think... too sure about the M60 rounds, what gun to run RFB, for that. RFB, um, SR25. Uh, I'd probably go RFB with the M62s. Um, yeah. The only downside to the RFB is you don't have lasers for point fires. Yeah. Um, which is an issue I have with RFB, because like, sometimes I'm like, I wish I had a laser. Uh, if you're comfortable with... If, if you have the budget, I'd say, maybe go for an SR25. At least you can slap a laser on it. Even a stock SR25. 
just slap a laser. I think that would be nice. Um, you what, Yeah, Lone Wolf in, in chat has a good point. You don't want to waste your time building guns, so either prepare, I guess, set up pre... It's either... you. The two routes you can go with building guns. Either you have this super best efficient loadout you built um you know whatever you you built this perfect ak with like this mod this mod specifically this specific specifically blah 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 and set a preset or you can do a um a very minimal build where it's a lot of a lot of little clicking where you don't need to do presets yeah so it's up to you like i think finding that middle ground of i'm sure because building gun building a loadout is definitely something that will slow you down what i would do i would probably use a lot of guns that require little building i probably wouldn't run a lot of m4s i'd probably go mdr you don't have to build shit on mdr five okay, six MDR, or so. yeah yeah um 762 mdr might be a little too expensive i'm not sure but you have 20k usd though so might be worth actually yeah um, if i'm gonna be running sr25 that's 1.1k per mm -hmm. how much is so, the mdr 762 mdr oh, i don't think i have it unlocked yet okay um but nonetheless again you're gonna have to also think that these guns have limits so uh yeah mdr you have the mdr you have the rf 5 of 6 and 7 6 2 um see i i would probably go for guns that require minimal modding uh so i probably wouldn't run an m4 i mean you could you could probably build one really good m4 i remember there was a tournament um it was one of the punisher tournaments where one of the, I think, I'm not sure, I forget who big streamer it was, but it's one of those super chad big streamers. He built a meta M4 at the start with 855s, and um, he was just demolishing lobbies because he had, like, a laser gun. But this was private servers, though. This was private servers. So, um, yeah. so th that's a route you could go if you feel like it, like, build the meta gun from the start and snowball from there. I guess it depends on your confidence levels, but for me, I would probably go on the more safer, reliable side. Um, I would think more of um i'd probably yeah i'd build a loadout that is still still good it's not super budget but something that i can run over and over again if i die a lot so rfb maybe um oh mdr okay 760 mdr is expensive 1700 usd so that's that's a lot of money maybe you can run that once or twice um but yeah rfb is super cheap 55k but again like i said the point fire is gonna be a little rough but hey, i trust your point fire i guess if, if yeah. in case you're, you're pretty good anyway you can loot yeah, yeah 100%. Uh, i don't else? know about point fire with all the lasers though yeah the same honestly same with like that's what i meant with rfb is like it's gonna be shaky but if if push comes to shove and you have no choice um i think trust it because what's nice about the rfb anyway is uh you you're, you're running freaking m62s or even if you start start buying M80s or whatever, the the bullet hits so hard, you know. Um, with your decent mechanical aim, I feel like you'll you'll you know you just need a couple shots in the chest and they're good. So it's an option in case you run out of you run out of options. But yeah, I would say think of um. Try to come up with builds that you feel comfortable with, uh, that are either af fairly affordable where you just don't run out of money really quick. Um, because with money you're gonna have to think as well. Uh, armor you can spend on armor ammo there's a lot to spend on meds in terms of armor um again like i said i probably oof. um again i'm not the best with, with the market with the economy but i guess what i would do uh, is i'm probably gonna mainly run level four armor because it's the most affordable one but if i'm feeling a little confident and i want to get a really good snowball in i'll consider running level five i don't know which one but i think it's up to you use your money to get a quick level five uh armor but i probably would let go of helmets i'll be honest yeah i mean i'm just gonna be running the ratnik and a gssh yeah for my for my head slot i can't think of anything else to run like because we're playing end of game wipe right so yeah i feel I, like a lot of the pmcs i go up against are gonna be running full trad gear yeah so i i honestly would let go of any helmet i just go helmetless with an earpiece and whatever decent armor because at the end of the day um the fights you want to fight are not one-on-one -on -one aim battles as much as possible um hopefully you're uh you're putting yourself in a position where i mean of course easier said than done but uh 
yeah, like most of your fights hopefully will be because like we're talking about picking your fights. You're probably gonna be avoiding a lot, and the fights you'll pick are ones where you have super big advantage. Um, if they're chatted out, I'll probably skip on it unless again I have like a flank on him or something. But uh, yeah, I think loadouts will, will really come in handy. Use what you're comfortable with, hundred percent. Runs 110, gazelles 130k. Again, um, so no flea market, so it's it's gonna be um, uh, all traders. So yeah, fair. You guys are right. 110 per run. What else is good, guys? How's the? It seems expensive. The Redut M. It's level five armor. It's two hundred thirty nine thousand rubles. I don't like running that because it it feels heavy, because it is heavy. Yeah. Um. You're you're uh yeah. I don't even bother. Two hundred two hundred k is a lot of money. That's like, yeah. That's probably. I think I would only start buying any of those if you've hit trader limits on a lot of things. Scar Heavy is good for M62, only 1,200 USD. It's not a bad idea. And then, yeah, someone in chat said I could just buy the uh, items case from Therapist for 19k. That's like all the euros you start with, and I could just sell it back. Oh, smart. Yeah, yeah, do that. Do that. How much? So you can sell the eye case back to Therapist? Um, I'm assuming. I, assume, yeah. I don't have any, but I, I'm yeah, just trying to same. see how much it sells I, back for. I'm pretty sure you can. I just want to confirm because I don't want like you. We buy the 20k euros and you're like, oh wait, something changed in a recent patch or something. Does anyone have an eye case in their stash? I think I have an eye. Do I have an eye case? I don't have an eye case. Can you check how much it sells to the therapist in chat? They'd have to empty it. <laughs> so there are barters, but. There's no flea market smoke, so he won't be able to get the soap and shampoo or whatever. What level? So he's max level traders. So if you guys want to see the rules for yourself, for yourselves, it's pinned to the chat. There's a literally I pinned the message with the link and everything. Turn your rules are there. Now, since um, we have this event going on, I feel like it'll still be going at customs. Should I even bother going there? Mm, I would not. Unless I'm desperate. Uh, yeah, it's tough, man. Sanitar. The problem with this, the sanitar area is the, the, there's a feeling of like, mm, I could get a couple sanitar kills. That's a lot of points. But sanitar yeah. plus the whole map is probably farming it. Um, It might work in your favor where you just avoid it. <laughs> and then you just like run... Um, you know, walls like it might be free okay. for you to extract every time and just like farm scabs. So seven hundred and seventy four K to sell the therapist. It's the items case. Okay, so seven hundred and seventy four K. Seven hundred and seventy four K. Not even a mil, huh? Okay, fair. That's an extra mil to work with. So um yeah, in terms of like what I'm thinking is uh again a lot of this will will go down as well to your to to the to your feel to your gut feel when you when you when the tournament starts. As much as we're like planning all this, sometimes you go in and you're like, oh my gut's telling me I'm I'm feeling this. You know, maybe you wake up on a good day and you're just like ready to go and you're confident you're gonna go for Sanitar and stuff. Maybe, maybe. But just from on paper, looking at it from the outside, um use it to your advantage where customs will prob everyone's probably favoring all the chads will probably be favoring Sanitar. So you'll probably have a little lesser geared guys around dorms or something, or, you know, you're running on the way out. I think a lot of your fights will probably be, yeah. um, no, well, I was about to say, it's going to probably be going to be in spawn, but then again, customs is quite linear. You're going to run into people in the middle as well. But yeah, I'd say avoid it and uh, fight people just on the way out. A scav farm. I think the 0.5 on scav farming is going to be important. Also, one thing I would, I would want for you to practice is, um, Try to see what's the very, very minimum you can do for a survive. Like, see if it's, is it one or two? So, is it like so it's one two, scav? 200 XP, 200 mm. XP or seven minutes. Oh, right. I, I do remember the seven minutes. Okay, right. Right, right, right. You're right about the seven minutes. That's smart. So, you can uh, check if it's under seven minutes. 
Because there will probably be raids where you can get a super quick ass extract, especially if you get like a VX. Um, see what's the minimum. Can you do one scav kill? Can you do, or do you have to do one scav kill plus loot the scav? And then I think you'd have to loot the scav. Okay. So if it's one kill, loot the scav, maybe you want to consider that as well for, uh, for some of your other raids, you know, where, uh, maybe you get to an extract a few minutes early. Hmm. But I think, like, in terms of, like, what we broke down in your fights today, I think it'll really come in handy with, um, as you're, you're, you're all, throughout the tournament, you're going to be chasing for extract. 100%, there's going to be a lot of moments where, while going to extract, you're getting shot from where the hell was that. And as long as you have a general idea where the bullets were coming from, just do the whole reposition, reset the fight, do a big-ass reposition if you can. Even if, even if it means doing, like, a, a double back and, like, you know, feels like you're going around in circles as long as you get a, a good survive um because it's it is three points man it is three points yeah if it if it wasn't uh, three points i'd probably take a couple of quick deaths but yeah <clears throat> looks like you get 100 xp for a scav kill 100 xp for a scav kill i wonder if you get enough so it's like I, I kind of do remember because I remember doing the guide a few patches ago and um, or like was a patch ago. I remember trying to see what was the minimum because I and or was it for hardcore? I forgot what I was doing it for, but oh, it was for hardcore. I was doing hardcore and I was seeing what was the minimum, and I think I remember it was two kills without looting. Oh, so okay, Smoke said you have to headshot and you have to touch headshot for one scav, and you have to touch the body. Okay. Okay. So if it's two headshot smoke, is it a survive without having to touch? Because sometimes, you know, you get a long range kill or a range kill where you don't want to run to the body. So I assume possibly if you, if you don't want to loot two kills and out. Dak, thanks for joining Noodle Gang. Appreciate the membership, man. Much love, dude. I'd say kill two scabs for minimum. So that's something you want to try, I guess. Um, see what's the bare minimum you can do in case you do on their seven minute raid. Okay. Headshot, no touch. I thought that's that gets you out of factory. Okay, it's worth probably worth looking into. But you'll probably have to um trial and error. Cause I dude, I, I really think um oh man, I I don't know what the history of this tournament is, but I feel like top fifty percent. So he needs to get top fifty percent to qualify. And um, I think top 50%, it's honestly just not dying too much. I think if you do a reverse snowball and you're dying too much and getting tilted and dying, I think that's where you end up behind the bottom 25%, bottom 50%. Because um, I rem um, in, in my experience, again, going back to my experience in, in tournaments, in these three-hour tournaments, I always feel like, because I don't look at the scoreboard because I don't want to get tilted by looking at the scoreboard, so I'm just playing, playing, playing. And in my head, I'm like, dude, I'm doing so bad. Like, I'm probably last place. And then I check the scoreboard. I'm like, holy crap. I'm actually like, you know, 40th place or something out of 100 or whatever. So um, I think as long as you're surviving and you're not um, doing a reverse uh, snowball, you should be fine. I think easy top 50%. And um, I, I I feel like you have a, you, have, you generally have a good, because you've played a lot of FPSs, trust your gut with, fights you want to fight um th there might again like i said there might be a fight where it's a chad but you feel confident go for it i feel kill is 100 xp and headshots another 100 xp yeah for people asking about the tournament um this is the organization called utopia gaming they actually have another tournament uh coming up so it's by application so you submit your application and then they send out invites to choose who gets to play I literally applied for this as a meme to see that, you know, maybe they're looking for a ringer because every tournament needs a, some newbie ringer, right? <laughs> yep. So they, they did invite me. <laughs> um, they have another tournament. The applications are open right now. It's uh, Trios. That's cool. So what's yeah, I believe it is a similar, uh, it's called like the Great Escape from Tarkov. Mm -hmm. And I believe it's a similar scoring structure. I see. And for reference, everyone who's just hopping on. So there's a tournament. I'm not joining. My our friend here, Zach, is joining. Who's on Discord with us? 
He has, at this moment, 179 hours of Tarkov. But, for those of you who just hopped in, we saw his footage. Uh, he is very good for a 200-hour player. Um, initially, when he told me that he's joining a tournament at 200 hours, I'm like, damn, that's going to be... Ooh, that's sweaty. But when I saw his footage, his fights, I'm like, okay, wait. I was even joking earlier. Is this one of those YouTube videos where like a 10,000 hour pro hires a coach and makes it? E no, he's. <laughs> it's uh, it's cool. It's cool to see how. Like, what's what's exciting for me is is um, I just want to see you do better than you think you can do. Like, whether you know, if you win, then amazing. But if you can do better than you personally think you can do, as I'm, I'll be, I'll be happy. So my plan as well is this this tournament's going to be on Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern. I do plan to go live here on YouTube for this. Um, I'm going to watch it live on stream so we can watch it all together. Uh, Zach has to stream the tournament. It's part of the rules. You have to you have to be streaming your perspective. So we'll be watching his perspective um, while this happens. <clears throat> and the rules, if you guys want to see, it's pinned in, in the chat, so... Yeah, it's all, uh, as long as he keeps surviving, I think he'll be fine. All right. That's the plan then. Just make yeah. it out. Yeah, so I would say make it out, and then everything we discussed about, like, how you fight, um, you know, whatever we talked about, with, like, the repositioning and all that, and, like, the, the right-hand peaks, and, you know, trying to... I think a, a, one of the notable raids, I feel like, outside of the outside of the thing of repositioning to reset, like, Apex... One of the notable raids I want you to remember was the one in reserve where you left hand w committed to the guy in on the ground. I remember I was yep. telling you about like run to the run to the other side and you could right hand peek or you could use that little room to your advantage. I think that was a very good moment where um, about like it's still the reposition idea but on a smaller scale. Um, so every my, my, where I'm getting at is everything we discussed t today with like your PvP and stuff. This will mainly come in handy when you're caught in a pickle as you're trying to extract <laughs> that's that's kind of like uh so the, the idea is just keep going to extract as much as you can get a couple scabs amazing if you get a free player kill i would even say there might be some player kills that's not even worth looting the dog tag um so that I, I would probably depending on where they die i'd probably let go of a couple of dog tags especially if it's a long range kill or Maybe you killed someone straight up, but they're out in the open. Just let it go. Get the three points instead of the two points. I mean, no, you don't even get you don't even get two points if you die. So, yeah. So let go of some of the dog tags. But everything we discussed today, just use it. It's it's gonna be used mostly probably when you're in a panic pickle mode because most of the raids I feel would be you running to um to extract and uh, just killing a couple scavs and getting some free points. What did he hire to be his coach here on YouTube? <laughs> he hopped on stream? Yeah, I just came to the chat. Okay, so I've been going to like content creators. Like I've been watching lots of streams and I did the same thing. Two dollar donation, five dollar donation. Yo, new to Tarkov. Uh, got into this tournament. They invited me. Uh, I want to do better. I need some pointers. So you were the first person to like actually acknowledge my existence, which is pretty sick. <laughs> It was cool. No, so yeah, so uh, he donated a two dollar donation yesterday. He's like, "How much for coaching?" I was like, "I don't charge for coaching. It's not something I never really did, but I think this would be fun to do." Um, I felt like it was. I've never really. I mean, you know, I've helped people, but I've never I haven't really like officially coached anyone. I felt like it was a cool opportunity. It was cool to just. It's fun content. It's fun for you guys to watch. We'll also be streaming his perspective. What's his name? Um, uh, G G. Wait, I'll put your Twitch link actually. GG BDK in there. And then yeah, I'll be I'll be forced to stream it. It's going to be 6 p.m. Eastern on Thursday. Yeah, so he will be streaming from his perspective Thursday 6 p.m. Eastern because it is required. Um and he you're not you're not currently a streamer, right? Oh wait, did I mute? Oh no, I didn't mute. You still, you still there yeah yeah i oh, can sorry. hear you sorry i'm getting i got a couple follower notifications oh, nice. and it's very Perfect. loud i just have my obs open i'm hearing it i'm like oh shit <laughs> that was loud 
So, um, are, are you, uh, are you, Moose said, good luck with that, Moose. Moose is, um, so Moose is actually another one of, like, you. So, um, I met Moose, okay. like, 2021, I think. Uh, he it was, I was streaming on Twitch then. He, he wasn't a turn, he wasn't joining a tournament or anything, but he was into the community, and he it was his first wipe, and he was insane. Like, first wipe, first 100 hours, and he was like, well, what the, f-? he's like a CSGO god, um, I, I think you're global elite, right, Moose? I remember asking you. Um, and he was one of those guys, like, first few hundred hours, insane. Um, and uh, so, yeah, that's, that's just, just giving it back. I don't know who Moose is. It reminds me of you a bit. And uh, what else? So I was, I was asking earlier, you're, you're not really streaming right now, right? Like... That's I haven't you. been actively streaming now, but maybe this will give me an opportunity to get back into it. That's cool. I think, um, do you, are you interested in getting into content or not really? Is it not Yeah, like that's like, dude, I have like, I bought a 10 terabyte hard drive to put recordings on because I typically Smart. record everything that I play. Yeah. And you I literally say. have like six years worth of playing games and I never make anything with it. So w- w- what if you, w- I think a, a good start if you want to, um, if if you wanna, I think if you wanna get just a little motivated to get going, this would be a nice um place to start, like the tournament. Just do a whole uh, do a whole story of how this tournament went yeah. for you. You know, I think it's because uh, I could I could we could talk in 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 the DMs or I'll, we could do a private call off stream. I could help you like format what a story would be like if you do a YouTube okay. video for it. Yeah, I'd have to help you, but like because it's I think. Um, what's interesting about your story is he literally have 200 hours in Tarkov and that like, it's like uh, 200 hours in Tarkov and like, you know, what I learned in the tournament and stuff. I, I think it'll be a great story, but yeah, I think, um, it's cool. I, I'm excited for you, man. It's cool that you, you took the, I mean, I know it was, a, you said it was a meme, but cool that you took the opportunity to compete that early in the game, man. Mm. So, well, I should, uh, I should let you get back to your stream here. Um, if you want to run some raids or if you're just gonna run it solo tonight, yeah, I, I would play. I can't play an NA, I mean, I would duo with you, but I don't have any server, I can't do any servers sadly. All the way across, oh, uh, you can. My my internet's pretty decent. I could, uh, check, your, what, check uh, your Asian ping. Are you in the Philippines? Yeah, okay. I so I play on all of Asia. There's four Asian servers there's Japan, Korea, Singapore, Hong Kong. See which one, um. Which one works for you? Sorry, that was Korea, Singapore, Hong Kong? Yeah, Korea, Singapore, Hong Kong. There's Tokyo as well. And Tokyo. Tokyo, I know I'll have 100 or sub 100 ping to Tokyo. <laughs> Are you serious? Okay, we can do a couple. Let's do a couple rates. All right, let me... Uh, oh, I just joined on you then. Uh, let me open the game back yeah, up. Yeah, sure. Sure, I can set up my... I haven't... Yeah, I got to set up my servers. One sec. Okay, we'll do a couple rates with... Uh, with... Our boy with Zach. Um, yeah, Hong Kong, Singapore. I'm looking at 200 ping. Okay, Japan works though, yeah? Yeah, Japan's about 100 ping. <laughs> Easy. We're this, literally the same ping. And I'm like a three hour flight away from Japan. Nice. <laughs> All right, let's go. Hey, what's up? June, been lurking. He's cracked. Yeah, he is. He is. He is. Uh, peak global ETS go masses in Apex. Yeah, I remember meeting Moose and learning you were new to the game, and I was like, "What the hell? Why are you so insane?" Because I remember we did a com- I did a community five v five way back before private servers were in. We just would snipe. We'd do two full five mans, and I would get them both in the interchange. Moose joined, and he was new. That was his first wipe, and he was clapping boys. And I was like, "What is your first wipe? Are you for real?" <laughs> so yeah, for those of you, okay. So if you guys want to follow, um. Zach's socials. This is Twitch, and then his YouTube channel is right there. What you see there, um, GGBDK as well. So YouTube doc. Uh, just I guess if there's a way you guys can click on his profile there. <clears throat> All right. Um, what do you want to do? Uh, I'll be mostly running reserve, right? For this tournament, oh, you think? Oh, we didn't even talk about that. Uh, depends. I, at the end of the day, it depends on what you're most comfortable at. I think getting in a reserve, killing some 
cards. Gil Gilherm? Gil Gil Gilherm? Out. What's up? Roberts. I'll go to Roberts. Be, What's up, uh, the play. Reserve with guards, did you say? Yeah, because, like, like, I don't know. I die more above ground than I do below ground on reserve. But I know that below ground is the more okay. PvP heavy area. That's fair. So, that's interesting. It's an interesting thing. I think it'll go boil down to your absolute gut. Um, initially, my initial gut, uh, putting myself in, 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 if I was competing, I would, this might not even be right, but I would, um, I was thinking customs. Um, just because the, my problem with reserve is spawning. Sometimes you end up in those spawns, like by train in the caves where you have to make this open area, open field run across. Which feels yep. like you die, which is a super risky to die at the start. There's there's a lot of spawns in reserve where um, there's no choice but to run at the start and hope the guy next to you doesn't have a good shot. That's my problem with reserve. Um, but if you're feeling, if you feel like it's a better choice, do try it. But what's nice about customs is no matter where you spawn, you can play safe enough um, that you can avoid PvP. If I mean. Yeah, man, it's it's a tough choice, man. Because what I like about reserve, okay, here's the pros and cons. Reserve, like I said, spawns are weird. The the out the outer area is tough. Spawning is crossing in the open area is weird. Trying trying to get below is the is the hard part. I'm, there might be a couple deaths there. But what's nice also about reserve is it's not a linear map like customs, and and in that sense, you're able to avoid PvP you don't like. In customs, there are some parts of the map where it's super a choke point that no matter what happens you're kind of forced in the middle of a fight um but at the same time what's nice about customs is this the spawning is a little less toxic um scav hunting might like normal scav hunting might be easier on customs on reserve because I, I know your idea i get your idea i would probably do the same if i was in reserve i just go straight to basement um Man, that's also smart because like let's say basement is empty you just run to d2 yeah just get out get the <sighs> extract so smart um yeah so i, I would oof. maybe this is worth practicing over again the, what's nice about this tournament is public servers so you can actually practice see 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 what what um what feels better in the next like 24 hours or so run some customs run some uh uh reserve see what feels better yeah, another problem I'm going to run into as well is I usually play at this time. It's currently 3 in the morning for me. Mm -hmm. And so I get into a lot of dead raids. So I'm not seeing a lot of action. Whereas when right. I play during the day, um, I feel like my play style changes a lot because there's a lot more people. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Um, yeah, so D2, cam D D2 campers I don't think would be a big issue because I think Zach's going to be first there usually. Um then again yeah so so yeah it's gonna i think it's gonna you, you're gonna have to make a decision on that it's gonna be your pro and con reserve for the again my issue with reserve is the spawning just getting to underground is a tough part just imagine spawning behind the knights you know those hills the e2 hills you spawn there or you spawn by train near marked room where the barracks are trying to get the underground from there is such a scary run especially for the tournament um but Again, if you get some practice runs in, as I think, feel it out, feel it out. Um. So yeah. So very savage. Keep. I, I see you. You've been recommending labs for the the whole time. My problem with labs is one. Yes. Yeah, so first, he has five cards. I don't know if it's worth because one Zach isn't super familiar with labs just yet. He's not familiar enough where he you can use the map to your advantage. Um, and yes, raiders are free kills. You get. I mean, not easy kills. I'm not. I'm gonna take it back. They're not the easiest kill in the world, but I don't know. La labs for me, as, as someone who doesn't play a lot of labs, it just sounds like a lot of a lot for me. La uh, the the one, the risk of cheaters. Oh. Two, the 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 gamers, like le legit gamers. You know, just the really good players and um, super chads. Um, and then the extracts are tough there as well. You're gonna have to press the button and all that. I don't know. Like tournament-wise, it, it's too stressful for me to think about. But hey, if you feel like doing it, do it. But I, it's a toss-up between customs and reserve for me. Um, and it's it's pick your poison. Wait, you can't do woods though. So there are only three maps. There are only three maps for this tournament: labs, reserve, or customs. Chat. That's the only three choices you can make. 
Um, and then this is so isn't this a, isn't it a kill tourney? Yes, it is a kill tourney, but there's also points for just surviving. You can buy more. I mean, there's five cards. You can definitely buy more, but uh, it's 160k, 160k that can go to your loadout. That's a lot of money. Uh, and what's the what's the limit? You can buy one per reset. So it's six labs raids. Would you do six labs raids? I don't know. I I probably would skip on labs. Maybe do it as a last ditch effort if I'm like, if I'm at the top of the bottom 50% and I really need desperate points, maybe get some quick raider kills and die. Maybe I'll do labs. Yeah, I'm thinking if the event is over, customs is definitely where I go. Because the right. map will have cooled down by then and I think all the giga chads will be done going there. That's fair. And I'll have yeah. a fair chance to kill people. Yeah, so I think, um, yeah, your call. Reserver, reserver Customs. I think just feel it out. Feel it out. Speaking of Reserve, what map do you want to run right now? Um, do you want to run a Reserve? Run a yeah, Customs? A reserve. I'm yeah. down for either. Okay. Uh, yeah, so Reserve. What are you running? What gun are you running? I have a UMP right now. UMP sounds good. What am I going to run? I'm just going to hop in the menu and grab a soda. And uh, take your time, I'm man. good to go. Perfect. Let me just go push the talk, chat. I don't know the, 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 the voice push the talk um yes yeah, so I think it's gonna be a toss-up chat it's gonna be a toss-up between <sighs> reserve and customs I think his gut will tell him which the right which one the right map's gonna be um So yesterday we ran the G36 a lot. It worked. But what's another dumb fun gun to run? Um, I don't want to run. So if you guys are new to the stream, I, I like running whatever. Uh, I like running just different stuff, especially non-meta stuff. And yesterday we ran the G36 all day. It was super fun. Got a lot of decent runs with it. Let's see if there's something else we can run here. Hmm. It's a nice M4, but it's expensive. Uh, AK's usual stuff. SC58. Already sexy always, but nah. Mm. RPK VSS. The RPK actually doesn't sound too bad. Let's try the RPK. Just something, something um, a little fun. I haven't used an RPK in a while. Mm. I do I do enjoy how the RPK we'll, we'll run a shorty as well a short RPK hmm I mean that is it is an LMG so that kind of counts right uh cannot go loud with this I'm gonna stick to loud sorry I, I meant to say cannot put any other compensator on that let's go bother bro Yo, Shrimp, what's up, man? Thanks. Appreciate the love, dude. Uh, let's just run 30s on this as well. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. I want to change the stock. Let's see what other stocks are. Eh, not that. Oh, wait, no. Only available parts. Whoops. Uh, I'm not going for min max. I'm just going for what just looks cool and it has decent stats. I hate how the PRS looks on these rifles. This one looks not too bad. This looks a little different. Ugh. Wait, I thought I had that. I do have that. I do have it. I think it's probably on another gun for sure. Oh, it's on this one. Uh, to be fair, I don't. I never really liked how that looked. Uh, let's go with something else. Mm. Let's go with. Uh... Hey, brother! 
Zach, thanks for the membership. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, let's go with. I don't know. Can't see this. I don't. Mm, Cobra. No, this this is not too bad. Looks good to me. Try level four armor. Mm, do I want to run 60s? Not really. How much playtime, Jonathan? Roughly about a little over 5,000 hours. I've been playing the game since 2018. But honestly, I, I say this a lot, chat. As much as I've played since 2018, um, people who've played at the same rate as people who've played since 2018 usually have about 10,000 by now, or somewhere there, approaching 10,000. I, um, as for me, 28 since someone who's played the game since 2018, um, with only 5k hours, that's actually it's actually I, I don't have a lot of hours for 2018 because uh, I'm just not a grinder, I don't grind as much as uh, most people do. So, as much as uh, I have been playing the game for a while, it's um, I should have more considering I've been playing the game for a bit. Is what I'm trying to say. Yo, Owen, much love, dude. Thank you, dude. Is he back? Are you are you back? Back? You're back, back, right? Oh, am I muted? Wait. Oh shit! Ended the call. Did I end the call? Wait. <laughs> did, did Zach say something in chat? I, I actually ended the call. I <laughs> ended the call. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, my bad, my bad, dude. <laughs> I was an autopilot. Uh, are you back? Yeah. <laughs> that dude i meant to end the when you the, ended your stream i you, I, uh, I ended the this i meant to end the discord stream but i ended up ending the call but i was like wondering what the fuck's chat talking about dude jesus christ it's like what are you guys talking about you guys are idiots you're all wrong chat that's my bad <laughs> did you say in chat I brought, did i miss your message did you say in chat that you, you yeah were, i did oh, okay well, it's all good though Oh. Anyways. Ugh. Shattered mask. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. I think I'm pretty good. grab a proppy really quick I swear I had another proppy somewhere okay mm. good reserve right tick oh what's your uh what's your username just start looking for group uh Zach is a man I'll look for group Stash just looks like a mess, dude. I'm too lazy to sort my stash. I'm sorry. <laughs> Chai, what's up, dude? What's your name again? Uh, Zach is the man. Oh, right Z A K I Z. Uh, so yeah, like I said, what I was saying earlier before I realized we left Zach behind. Thank you for all your help so far, man. I know it's been that. it's been really like insightful for me to like get your advice. It's cool. I'm happy to hear it. Like like I said, when when you first approached me, I was like, I mean, like I'm not my play style doesn't really it's not really very competitive. I never really you know, but I'm I'm glad uh, I'm glad you got some value out of it. It's cool. That that's a win right there. <laughs> I know you're a troll when I watch your video. I'm like, this guy's Filipino as fuck. I can hear it right away. 
<laughs> Got a lot of Filipino friends back uh, here. Lots of lots of Filipinos live here. So like you just uh like school wise or like work wise, how do you meet most of your Filipino friends? Oh, uh, work wise. Work like wise. I worked at a pizza restaurant and like I was the only white guy there. Everybody was Filipino. And they were <laughs> That's all amazing, chilling. Dude. What, what part of the Oh you said you're West Canada, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm in uh, Alberta. What's at stake in the tournament? Actually, yeah, what is the the Okay, so it's first place prize only, and it's an all-paid uh, expense trip to a, an Escape from Tarkov-themed boot camp. That's all of the people who win in their upcoming tournaments will be going to. That's interesting. Where's it going to be? They haven't announced it yet. Well... I'm going to assume that it's somewhere in Europe. Mm. Or... Uh, I'm pretty sure that the people who run this tournament are... Uh, South American, so it may be in America somewhere. Interesting. Cool. Yeah, I remember cycle. I remember the snake M4 you posted like a, a little days back. Yeah. Yeah, they like fly you out. Thank you, John. And I, I don't know what it. they mean by escape from Tarkov theme boot camp. Like, if it's an esports boot camp, that's pretty cool. But uh, if they're throwing us into some like <laughs> military training shit, Basic that's going to be pretty intense. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I'm curious as well. What the hell does that mean? Tarkov boot camp. I feel like it has to be an IRL thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, like... I, you, I, play, it... you play a miserable <laughs> game to win a trip to a miserable boot camp. <laughs> oh, dude, you lose-lose. Uh, sorry, you are saying? No, I was just gonna say, I, I would assume it's an esports boot camp. Fair, fair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even really concerned with winning this thing either. I just want to go in and see what I can do. Yeah, I think what, what I like about in any video game, what's cool about tournaments is you get to see where you're at. Yep. And you, get, you know where to, what to work on and stuff. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I've had lots of people tell me I'm playing way above my hours played. So I want to see how true that is. Mm -hmm. I, think, um, I think you'll do pretty good. The fact that it's public servers. If it was private servers, it'd be a little different. I mean... I think you still do well in private servers, but because it's public, you already know what to expect. I think that's because if it was private servers, yeah. there would be more nerves. It would be a different play style. Because it's public. It... Huh. <laughs> EFT theme is just IRL. Uh, let's do it. <sighs> I'm gonna ask them in their Discord what they mean by Tarkov theme boot camp. They just asked now. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you have a better experience to stream via YouTube than Twitch? So far, I've been loving YouTube more. Yeah. Um. Is this something about? I don't know. I guess. <clears throat> I like the YouTube experience. I don't know how to put it, but I'm liking YouTube more. Uh, I can't gift subs in here, man. What I think the heck? there is. There is. You can, there's gifted memberships. Um, I was looking it up. Apparently, you have to, as a viewer, you have to allow gifts. Um, D, if you in chat, D Frag was one of my um, good friends. He was dropping gifted memberships a week ago. I think so to check click on the money icon I, I think they should like under memberships or something they should be gifted oh yeah there it is you don't have to talk it I was leading you right into it but it's like no no I gotta be humbled back to you know no <laughs> you just have to show me where to go <laughs> that's uh, the whole reason I'm here I don't know where to go and you're the one to show me where to go all right fair fair how do you gift the money icon? There's a money icon. Oh, thank you for the 10 gift. I appreciate it. <laughs> appreciate it. So, so for those of you, so this is when it comes in. This is when the claiming what you were saying. So the viewer, they have to take it. Now, you're gonna. Some of you guys will get a prompt if you're gonna take the gifted sub. So check the yes. check your chat if you guys got it. It's not like Twitch where you just randomly get a gift yeah. sub and you're like, who's this guy? BT's good, Tim. Yeah. It's Tim some Hinson. dude whose TTV name you checked out his stream after he killed you and he's not <laughs> even live. No, oh, thanks. Uh, uh, thank you, man. Thank you. Stan, what's up? What's your ping at? 
Uh, I'm like 150. So this is what I was saying, like, um, yo, Jonathan, thanks for the two bucks, man. So like this, you already have a spawn to your left. So assuming this tournament, it's like, hopefully that guy doesn't catch you early. So how do you like playing? Um, I don't know. If I've got a specific plan in mind, I just go for it. Like at least, like, like I, yeah. I find that do struggle fewer? as well, like not knowing exactly what I need to do or where I need right. to go. So sometimes when I have like no agenda for like this raid, I have an autopilot depending on a spawn. So what I like doing here is we can either go straight D2 or I'll hang around the cafe, the, the, the food area upstairs here in Black Bishop. I just, I just chill for info. So sometimes I just chill around here and um, I don't have range though, but so I lost range. you went upstairs. Oh, so, sorry, yeah, went upstairs. Upstairs, then take a take a left as you get up the stairs around the corner. Yep. Okay. So sometimes I like hang in here. Um, there are a couple of spawns that will W key in here as well that you might catch, or um, I just wait. Like it, it, honestly, like most of how I play, if I don't have an agenda, no quest. I'll chill in a certain area and wait till I get info. Any gunshot in another building or whatever. Um, sometimes I like going white bishop because, which is across us, because there's a lot of good fights there. But generally, um, do you have a quest right now? Oh God! Don't ask me about quests. Okay, me. I have a quest. You can just eliminate uh, Gluhar. Uh, integrate a navigation system. Eliminate so scavs underground. Scabs on the ground. Let's go underground. F it. Let's go. See if we get some scabs. Probably get PvP as well. Come back down. I also like walking a lot. Um, especially when I'm solo. Like I rarely sprint unless I'm like running. I I also that's one thing. That's one advice I always give new players. Um, it's probably something you already have figured out. Uh, because you have pretty good game sense, but. I sprint with intent. What I mean by that is I only use sprint when I have to. But if I'm like... If I just want to... I don't usually sprint like just to make it faster, you know what I mean? I sprint to get across the hallway, get across an open field. It's because I, I mostly play solo and like sprint's like the easiest way to give away my position. You hear that? Yep. Gotta get behind this wall here for cover. They know we're here, they probably know. They're in the power hallway? He's peeking, he's peeking, he's peeking. Oh. He's about to peek. He crossed. I, I fucked up, I was on single. <sighs> no. I had a shitty angle there. Honestly, I should have not peeked. I should have just let you have that. I got flechetted. Did you die as well? Still yeah, I'm dead. Okay. I'm dead. Who killed you? Starcraft. Yeah, it was a warm up. <laughs> that was my bad. I was on freaking single. I was, I don't know. I tried to peek the dude. Well, where were you? Were you on the ramp right. behind me? Yeah, I was on the ramp behind you. I had a left hand peek. Gotcha. Honestly, I don't have a great peek either, but I want to surprise the dude, and then I surprised him with a single shot out of my RPK. <laughs> oh, yeah. And he just got blasted. I, I fucked up there. The same thing I've done before uh. is. The first guy crossed, but the second guy was in front of you. So right. if I shot, I'm shooting you. Yeah, honestly, that was my bad. I should have not peeked. I should have let you have the first guy. Um, I should have just let you have the first guy. I got greedy. We'll just do it today, Ver. Uh, I'm gonna do it with our bud today. Um, but we'll we'll do some games soon one of these days. I'm gonna chat. You know what? We're going back to G36. It worked for us yesterday. Stick to it. If I let you have the the guy um, the guy in front of me, do you think you would have still died, despite me letting you have that? Um, no, because the other guy ran across. He right, didn't have right, an right. angle. It was just the, the second guy that shot. Fair, fair. I'm sure he would have peeked me though. Mm. Let's go with the. Uh, let's go with the, there. You go, Cobra. Yeah, so Owen, we're doing it right now. Yeah, G36 is not a good gun, Cole. But it's just, I like how it looks. That's all it is. Oh, that was my bad. 
the main reason why I love running this gun is because I love how G36s look. But definitely not a great gun. Like I was saying yesterday, people were asking, is G36 good? I was telling everyone, just run the MDR. Run the MDR. Mm -mm -mm. Run the attack tech, why not? Or run the attack tech. I'll probably run something else. Yeah, we're fine. <clears throat> Um, overdose, yeah. I left Twitch uh, about a month ago at this point. A little more than a month ago, actually. Cool, I appreciate it, man. Thank you, dude. Glad you enjoyed it, man. Uh, for real, though, chat. If you guys come from uh, wherever you come from and you guys found us through our, our YouTube channel, or our YouTube videos, rather, appreciate you guys being here, man glad you guys enjoy the content and uh today so yeah f just to keep you guys up to speed if you guys just hopping on the stream um we are playing with zach who we met yesterday he hopped on the stream he's new to the game but he's competing in a tournament sounds crazy but we saw how he plays he's actually very decent at the game he has a chance he has a fighting chance for sure and um we uh in the first what three two two and a half hours of the stream we were breaking down his raids and checking out how he plays the game and giving him advice how to approach a tournament um honestly i, I i'm super excited for this guy because uh um i feel like despite being new he has a good foundation and i think he's gonna be a a, a nice underdog that'll do a lot better than most people think um well i told him despite him having 200 hours it looks like he has a thousand uh he, he has a very good base foundation from other games like CSGO, Apex, and stuff. So he knows what he's doing. He has a very uh, good sense of stuff. Okay, so um, let's go back in there. Okay. As, I guess we'll just go basement again. I guess it's a nice way to get a feel of uh, D2 for yourself as well. I mean, um, the basement area. Um, Evermarie, sorry. I have no idea what you just said. What's your PC specs? I have to... Uh, 32 gigs of RAM. I'm in left side. Um, 32 gigs of RAM, Titan XP, which is pretty much a 1080 Ti. Oh, yeah, we'll okay. What's up? Sorry, what was okay, that? I'm looking. Okay, okay. Oh, I just said I was going back. Gotcha. Flash yourself before the raid for fun. That's fair, Frog. I'll just grenade myself at the start of the raid with an F1. I like uh, to run on woods with larger stock and long barrel. It looks so good. Oh, is it talking about the G36? Hmm. So this, is, so Zach will be competing on a tournament in a couple days. We'll, we'll, we'll live stream. The, we'll live stream his perspective. Do, do you find? Tarkov difficult or not? It is difficult. Tarkov is difficult. Um, been playing this game for a couple years now, and uh, never gets easier. The game never gets easier, but 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 you learn to deal with losses better. I feel like that's what I go through as an as a fairly experienced player in Tarkov. That's my progression. The game doesn't get easier. I just tilt less. <laughs> Um, other shoes, it's really easy to adapt to the... That's fair, fair, Moose. Who are we Who are we teaching? Um, we're done teaching. We're just doing some fun du dual raids with Zach. Zach is, uh... He was the guy from yesterday who donated $2 asking if I'm down to coach him for a tournament tomorrow, um, on Thursday, so... SMHA, much love, dude. Thanks for being here. I don't know that I was so delayed. Honestly, I'm I'm on I'm currently not on low latency, so that doesn't help as well with the cause. But yeah. <laughs> um, SKS with PS3 ammo, yeah. PS PS ammo is, is good. Um, so whatever gun that is, Vepper SKS. Best way to put it, Tarkov is the greatest FPS horror extraction looter shooter you will ever play. <laughs> fair, fair. What, what gun are you running now? UMP again. UMP again, cool. AP rounds? Or... Yep. Cool. AP and then in my uh, gamma I have Hydroshocks because 
I can't buy any more AP. Yeah. Actually, so I don't know what your, since you're fairly new to the game, I don't know what your perspective on this is, but that's what, whenever people ask, like, what do I think of Tarkov now? It's one of my favorite patches, mainly because of the balance of stuff like that. Um, back then, everyone had an unlimited amount of whatever bullet. I mean, some people still do. The grinders still have way too much of the best bullet, which will, which you probably will end up having down the, down the road as well. But currently, for like um, people who don't put as much hours as the grinders, it f feels very much like the bullets are balanced in a way that you can only have so much 5.5A1, so much BP rounds. Um, you got to find them in raid if you want more of it because uh, the limits are pretty low. But it's, I think it's good for Tarkov because um, it makes... Uh, it, it just, I just like it when you're finding a lot of variety when you're in raid, whether a variety of loadouts, bullets. Um, when everyone's just running meta stuff every time, everyone's just getting one tap no matter what armor you're wearing. <laughs> you know what I mean? It feels like TTK is just way too low and armor almost doesn't matter anymore. There was a phase where people were running naked with meta guns because they felt like they were just getting, um, you know, two tapped with 995s or something. So there was a phase of Tarkov where people started running literally um, meta gear except no armor because of the whole theory, the whole idea of over penetration kind of thing. Yep. But uh, yeah, nowadays though, this is probably one of my favorite patches mainly because um, most, yeah, the meta stuff is a little hard to come by. You got to mix it up like what you're doing right now. AP rounds with a mix of... I like that. That's cool. Hmm. Yeah, I'm out of BP, so I can't run RD704. I'm a little bit sad. Yeah, so that, I think that's a great way to balance the game. The fact that, oh, shoot, like, I don't want to run the RD. Because at this point of the wipe, so we're already late wipe. At this point of the wipe, in almost every other patch of Tarkov, everyone's running the same exact loadout. It, feel, it almost feels like CS, where everyone's running an AK and M4. You know, and you're running to the same stuff. Which, I... So that's why I was asking your perspective on it, because I, I think you're a PvP heavy guy. I think you're gonna you you might actually enjoy Tarkov when everyone's running meta. On my side of things, I love the survival kind of you know, I, I always love Daisy, that's kind of where I come from, um, as well. So I like how there's a, there's uh scarcity and stuff. I really yeah, I think beginning of the wipe is gonna be really fun. I like that like rags to riches mm -hmm. kind Agreed. of vibe. Like when you play Rust and it's like the first couple days of wipe it's it's so much more engaging than everybody running around with full like face mask armor plates yes. and ak's 100 percent agree so what's nice about what i'm what i've been explaining for the past 30 15 minutes was it makes late wipe still have a sense of that what you're saying with early wipe that's interesting insight from uh from you who's just got started assuming terrible ammo is it better to try to yeah everybody's shot? out here saying like oh Depends there's no the content bullet. you know there's nothing going on in in the wipe and i'm having a blast because i haven't played this game since alpha yeah. like that's when i first played this game ah, so you so you've it was had like the game factory for a long time. only yeah i've had it i just i started playing a game called marauders yeah, yeah I, marauders is did you do you like marauders yeah, I think it's a lot of fun. It's just it's too shallow, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna Fair. give Tarkov another go. You wanna give uh, Underground another go? Yeah, let's go. Rematch. I might lose right, you up? a couple times here, because I don't really have... Uh, usually my homies stream. Oh, right, yeah. So That's I just fine. have your live stream to go by, just a few oh, seconds super behind. Super delayed as well, yeah. That's cool. What time is for you? Uh, for me, it's 6.53 p.m. So peeking with your flashlight, that's... What do you mean peeking? Like like this? Or what do you, what do you mean peeking with your, with your flashlight? Like, like, sorry, I was going to ask, but I heard gunshots. I didn't want to comms. Um, do you peek a lot with your light on? No, um, because I don't like the feeling of the guy knows where I where I exactly am around the corner. Like, let's say I'm yeah. peeking this, and he exactly knows, oh, he's about to peek, he's about to peek. I yeah. want to keep it a little more, yeah. So I only turn it on when I'm actually 100% committing to someone. Okay, let's, let's take the hallway. So, yeah, with reserve, um, I'm talking about the tournament now. Like, if you get a good spawn, you get here early, just flick a switch, leave. At least seven minutes leave. I didn't hear any voices. You have a hatchet. 
No. You're suppressed. Can you shoot that? Actually, wait, wait. Oh, there you go. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, it's just break it early. So sometimes what I'll do, I'll just chill here as well, see if we get anyone down here, and then we can move in a bit. Get nothing. Uh, did you want to do any quests? Um, I mean, my quest is to kill raiders down here, scavs in the other underground. I'll check if, um, and, uh, you can chill here for a bit, just hold this place down. I'll check if, any chance, raiders spawn in this right side here. I know we didn't hear anything, but... I need the integrated navigation system. I'm not sure where that is. Uh, chat, is that the one in D2 or the one in RBST? You're still in the offices, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, you can chill there. I'm just checking the other entrances. Uh, I hear someone running on my right. Gotcha. Is it from where we came from before? Yeah, from where we came. Gotcha. Two sets. Oh, perfect. You just chill there. We can pinch him. Let me know if they're uh, committing to your hallway. Yeah. They're on the other side of this wall for me, behind me. They're nading. Are they nading the hallway? I think they're nading power. One crossed, one crossed. One's in the hallway, one's in the hallway. Are there two in the hallway? Oh shit. One's in the main hall. Fuck. Okay, good. We're good, we're good. He spotted me. One has a DVL. A balti. One's with you right now. I'm with you, I'm with you. That's my bad. That's I didn't not... call. I didn't call. Was that, that you? Yeah, that was me. I'm Fuck so sorry. Me. No, that was me. That was all me. I heard you say I'm with you after I lit you up. That's, <laughs> That's my bad. That's a good shot, though. <laughs> oh. I fucked up, chat. I didn't, I didn't update him with my position. The trouble of playing so, solo too much. Oh, my God. I lit that guy up in the back of the head. Uh, he got you? Fuck. Yeah, he got me. Gotcha. It's all good. That was, that was on me. Um, I didn't completely update you with where I was. I was in a solo mindset. <sighs> Alright, uh, do you mind streaming? Yeah, sure. Your perspective? For sure. <laughs> oh, I just turned on my camera. I turned on my camera. Wrong one. Uh... Why can't I? Fuck. I fucked up there. We totally had those guys too. I didn't kill you. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. It happens. I run the VSS. Top 10 reasons to play solo, I guess. <laughs> nah, we got this. It's our first two raids together. We just met. Normal stuff. Um, What's the... Turning speed on this is pretty rough. Okay, I'm taking this. We gotta, we gotta give it, give it a couple raids, Chad. We, we just, we just met yesterday. <laughs> yeah, he walked in and he didn't like check behind the door, oh. and I was able to just dumpster him from behind. And then did, his other homie came around the corner and did his helmet take finished it? me off. Well, I killed him. Oh, you killed him. Okay, that's a win, GG. <sighs> The other guy came around and killed me though. There. Um, did he have a did one of them have a bolt or something? I'm not sure. I okay, guess so, I should have checked. Someone was um when I was in the hallway, uh I effed up my movement a bit and I got stuck in a on a corner and I was getting bolty. He missed though, but now I'm thinking if it was a three or a two man. Okay, let's go. Event over. Oh, event over, by the way. Chat just said. Sanitar event is over? Yeah. Okay, so we can go to customs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, you know, despite that miscom chat, I'm, I'm gonna... It's more of like... Yeah, a... Everybody was uh, assuming it would be over today because uh, they released that new lower thing. What is what's the lower thing? Um, it was like a note, 
and oh. the Rigi note. Right, right, that thing. Now, I'll be honest, I don't keep up with those, like, the lore-based teasers they do every now and then. Oh, yeah. I kind of just like, yeah, it was oh, that like, happened. It was like, oh, uh, thanks for saving me from Sanitar or something something. Interesting. Dead boy, I have. N I will never ascend Tarkov Madness. But you know what? Anyways, going back to that death. So like, I see people, um, a couple of people in chat, like talking about like the death and like I mean the, the team kill and how that could have played out or whatever. Honestly, whatever miscom or not, whatever all that stuff. At the end of the day, it was the, just a lack of us playing together. Um, yeah, that's one hundred percent my bad. I should have known you were coming that way because that's where you went in. Yeah, yeah. But it's cool, though, because you were also saying... Um, did I stream as well? I streamed, right? Yep. Yeah, you're streaming. Yeah, now. but, like, I think a big part of it, despite out of, outside of info, of, like, absorbing info, I think, a, a, like, teammates who work well together, you kind of already know each other's behavior. And it becomes, like, um, when, when I... Let's say I'm playing with, like, a duo partner. Let's say I play, play with Smokey and Chad, who's someone I play with a lot before. Um, I'll know his behavior where I, I, I kind of have an idea before he, he even says anything where he's gonna be because the because of history of like oh i know he's gonna do this or do that he's probably gonna come into my room so it's completely fair it's just i think despite knowing where i was and despite maybe if info was or was not clear at the end of the day it was just you know chemistry just you know how we both play because at the same time as well um i wasn't sure exactly where you were and oh yeah i should have uh i should have confirmed that as well like when I when I entered the room before he even shot me, dude. Before he even shot me, and before I even called out my my position, I felt like you were gonna kill me. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, I didn't say anything. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, I'm in the lobby. I'll start looking. <clears throat> yeah, so just one good game, chat. One good raid. That's all we need. Uh. Okay, so no more. All right, so yeah, chat confirms there is no uh, no sanitar. I like this playlist, chat. I might use this playlist more. Um, so usually, like, you know, I'm using, like, electronic music or whatever. Um, future bass. A little bit of... Uh, you know, th this is a playlist that's, like, strings, piano stuff. It's actually nice. I love it. Kind of goes with the vibe. <laughs> Sanitar, is Sanitar gone? Allegedly, yes. The chat is confirming... Uh, people in chat are confirming that Sanitar is gone. Allegedly. I, I I don't know though. I haven't been to customs today. Sounds spacey. I like space, dude. I, I am a fan of fantasy, like space theme stuff. Um, video game, I, I love Star Citizen. Uh, I love uh, space movies, interstellar, all that stuff. Same, dude. I'm, I'm a nerd for like, I love space stuff. Uh, I wish I wish I, I knew more. This is a good playlist. I like it. I've been I've been playing out with playlists lately, like different kind of music. Because I'm getting sick of the usual playlist I play, which is like kind of a you know usual electronic whatever music, um, some trap hip hop and stuff. I like this. this. This is a very chill. Some of them are too chill, but I just skip those. But the last track was really good. Yeah, Interstellar is pretty intense, man. Interstellar is pretty intense. So I did try Marauders. Um, so I was, yeah, someone was asking, do I like if I like Marauders? Marauders for me, I played it. It was f well. The thing is, I didn't give it a chance. I played it for like a four-hour, five-hour session, maybe just once, and it didn't hit as much as I wanted it to. If anything, I enjoyed Dark and Darker a lot. Have you tried Dark and Darker? 
No, I was going to do the playtest, like the last two that happened, but I was too absorbed into this game. Fair. Um, so Marauders was, yeah, it was okay. It didn't really hook me. Like, I didn't feel like playing another session. Oh, I don't know what it was, but um, I like Dark and Darker a lot. I think the, the issue I had with Marauders, which was maybe also because I was still, um, like, with, like, the starter gear. I felt like the TTK was a tad bit too high um like it was high as in like it takes too long to takes kill too long, or... sorry yeah it takes too long yeah. to kill like there at least with with the guns i was using there were no one taps like the starter pistols and stuff mm -hmm. um like if i if i catch if i'm solo and i'm against a duo and i i catch a guy looking the other way head tap him i still have to kind of head tap and follow follow up and then the other guys aim uh going after me but that was my solo experience at least uh, maybe it's just better with with squads. Yeah, I feel like it plays a lot like Rust PvP. Fair. Like someone will just hide and you hit your med. Like mm -hmm. if you tap someone on the head and they duck behind cover and they med, it's like instant. Yeah, yeah, that's what it felt. That's what it felt for me. It was like it was hard to like you know in Tarkov, you get a head tap, that's minus one, and then your next guy. So yep. um I'm so accustomed to that 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 threw me off a bit in Marauders. Dark and Darker I liked a lot. Um mm -hmm. There was something, I, I don't know, I guess it's just different. It was fun. There's lots of a hook. I totally feel that, like, what keeps you going into that next raid. And you know what's really crazy is you're saying that, is they actually just pushed a patch that Tom, nerfed all of the early game weapons even more. They, they makes the, what they the, do the, So they increased the uh, eff efficacy of armor, and they lowered the uh, headshot damage multiplier. Oh, so it's even so, weaker? It's even weaker for SMGs. Mm, interesting. SMGs that were like a three hit kill, some of them are a four hit kill now. Yeah, I think that that was the one thing I I could easily say that some threw me off a little with Mart was the TTK was a little too long. And um yeah. There was no like you said, there was like no hook for me generally. But, you know, it was fun. I think the one thing I remember as well feeling was you know, like I say Tarkov, you're you die and like you want to do one more raid, so you're like, you know what, I'll do one more, so you hop in. Marauders, when I get that feeling of like, should I do one more? I don't because I don't like the part where I have to fly to the place. Oh, yeah. I'm like, man, I got to fly again back to the area. So that made me feel lazy about the game as well. <coughs> There's just too much missing from the game. Same. Like, it's um, very Star Citizen, dry. Star Citizen. I love like, it. The only thing to do there, bring a torch, loot the vault, leave. And you just do that. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's a little too early in development, but I don't know. We'll see where it goes down the road, I guess. I'm a big fan of the ship combat, but there's not really a reason to do it right now. Like, it's too yeah, risky. That's a good point, yeah. I like how you can breach other ships and stuff. Yeah, it's that's sick. Alright, where are we at? Ooh, so, I don't have a laser. To the knights. So like example you spawn here you know the, the feeling of trying to get the d2 tournament wise a little scary or i guess you could take no backpack seven minute wait and no backpack i just realized oh uh, there's a pmc crossing right on our left gotcha. or scav oh he's lighting me up i lit him up did you get him i don't know if i got him i got him i got him actually Let's not loot him yet. Let's get in a uh, white. What is this? White knight? Did you drop him? I did drop him. Oh, shit, sorry. I did drop him. Yeah, my bad, my bad. I wasn't pushing talk. Um, let's get in first and loot him later. Let's see if he has a teammate or something. I'm gonna repack a mag in here. I don't have much mags on me. Okay. Did he hit you? In the arm. I'm going up. I'm gonna go to third. Um, you can stay first for a bit. Just cover the first a little. I'm gonna see if I can get an angle on his body. See if he has a teammate or something. Okay. You can just stay in a room or something and get give me info. If uh, if you hear someone, I'll come back down. Nice kill, thanks, man. I'm above. Okay, it looks like he was solo. Um, looks. I'm 
gonna take another peek. Yeah, I mean, if you had a dual partner, I think he would be running with him. So it looks like yeah. he's solo. Oh, you have range now. You're UMP, yeah? Yeah, uh, MP7 now. Oh, MP7. Okay, cool. Oh, bullets you running? Uh, subsonic. Cool. Yeah, I'm the same. I, I can't handle the recoil on the FMJs and stuff. I like getting subsonics on that. I'm not super keen about he looked a little juiced, but I don't I'm willing to skip on this guy's loot. My mindset is uh if if we come back to this area later and he's unlooted, I'll take it, but oh I'll take this sniper scope. But um yeah, I'm not willing to wanting to die for that loot right now. So look, we can move on in a bit. I heard a scab voice line down here. Coming down first with you, where are you at? I'm down the hallway on your left, so you can come down the stairs. Sounds good. So you're looking, you're looking to my right, yeah? Yeah, I'm looking yeah, to the doorway. Is he running? All right. That's me, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, we can go down to um, RBST side. You know where that is? That's the, the garage big warehouse, to the right. right? The garage yeah. to the right, yeah. Let's go. All right, I can lead. Hey Dan, what's up, brother? Welcome back. So I think your objective is in there. Um, I always get confused. It's either in there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's in there. Oh, you have the key. Perfect. Yep. Um, do you know where it is? No clue. Here, I haven't here. looked this Check one up yet. If it's here, this is your quest. If it's not here, then it's not here. Oh yeah, it's here. Oh, perfect. All right, at least we have something to do this raid. I'm gonna get out so you don't get trapped in here in case someone's uh, around. Yeah, I'm trying to load the grenade box. Sounds good. Take your time. Coming out. Okay, let's chill for a bit here. Um, I'm gonna sit around for a sec. Just hear out for info. Okay. And then um, I'm thinking we move towards. Um, so we'll run, we'll sprint to this orange little building, and then we'll try yeah. to get into the uh, king side of things. And uh, we'll, our path will be. Just clear whatever we can on the way to D2. We'll like, extract D2. We'll try to get out with D2. We could get out with or, um, safe, but, you know, let's get a fight in. Unless, you, oh, actually, unless you want to get out with that. You want to get out with that quest really quick? Doesn't matter. I can come back. Yeah. Yo, Nico, what's up, dude? I'm not too concerned with questing right now. I'm not getting cap or anything. Sounds good. Likewise. All right. You ready to sprint? Yep. So this is something, actually, I... I I also do a lot is when I'm solo mainly is after doing something before I move I just sit I like gunshots scav lines whatever footsteps and then gather info if it's clear I feel like I'm confident to sprint I'm gonna go so I go from point to point and then just sit and then I hear for info what keybind do you use for free luck um, I have I rebounded to my thumb bun. One of my thumb buns on my mouse. Okay, thumb bun. Yep. Okay, so next stop we'll go. Uh, we're gonna make a run for the little gas station office. Just go from cover to cover. Okay. okay. Seems, feels a little clear. Let's go for it. Um. So it's these dome snipers. When I run across this, I'm just hoping they don't have a good shot. I'm gonna zigzag a bit. <laughs> And I get in here and do the same thing. Just chill a bit. Wait for... Sometimes from here, your footsteps in another building nearby. Something I noticed people don't do in this game, they, they don't zigzag when they run. Yeah, I and when... that kind of weird. True, true. When they do, though, it's super annoying as a sniper. <laughs> yeah. yeah, something I know yeah, from Rust so is hard, uh, the zigzag when you run. Yeah. Oh, zigging and zagging doesn't work. I see a scab. Yeah, yeah it's a scab. That's crazy. He saw me through like a pixel gap. He's just gonna probably come oh, here. I will not peek that while you're peeking it. He's looking at me through. Oh, there he is. Wait, wait, one sec. He went left or right. He saw me through this little gap. In this oh, I missed. It's all good. 
Okay, so like, yeah, scavs, right? So what I do when, I, when I'm with a scav around, I literally treat him like PMCs. Oh. Like, I try to plan out, okay, what's the best way I can kill him without killing myself? Um, so I'm just probably gonna check him right now. I'm just gonna... So, okay, what I do here uh, is I just realized I try to see if I can aggro him really quick and then go back. But since I'm not aggroing him, I'll move up a little more. So it's like... Oh, there he is. So it's like aggro, um, check if you can aggro, go back and cover, kind of thing, instead of committing hard. Because, you know, aimbot. Yeah. So, you know, again, it's just like treating, fighting PMCs. Yeah, let's get in here. Okay, watch that door to the right for a bit. You can watch it from the ground. I'm going to clear second floor real quick. Okay. Okay, we're good. I'm going to come back down to you. So this is like the moments where I run across here, run, run here, and then you get the right hand peek on that hallway. So right. Like, yeah, yeah. So it's just hallways like this, perfect for that little strat. Nico, thanks, man. Appreciate it, dude. Yeah, YouTube's been great. So again, quiet. But even if it's super quiet, I always try to walk it out. Um, I. I I feel like, again, mainly as a solo, like, quote, silent discreetness or silence is like my best friend as a slower player. And then for moments like this where you're not sure if it's like someone's, you know, like, so our plan here, as we leave here, we're going to go to White Bishop across here. Um, okay. So there could be a guy to the right. So I just do quick shoulder peeks, bait shots. If no one's baiting, if no one's shooting, I commit. And there are some moments like this where it's like YOLO, you know, there are YOLO moments where I'm like, okay, if there's someone here watching me in the window as I cross, as we crossed here, then it yeah. is what it is. So I just commit to it sometimes and just just try to react best I can. But we're going to go down those steps in a bit. I'm just going to clear out this area really quick. Um, Another thing as well I do, so I'm just trying to pick my own brain as I'm moving here, but left hand peaks are okay if you're getting info. So like here, I'm gonna left hand peek it, but just a quick, like um, I want to check the hallway. Just a quick left hand, not a commit okay. commitment. But if you're committing to a fight, I yeah, left hand peeks are a little sketchy. So how I like clearing this this building, um, instead of us the usual going up here, right, and like clearing and then going through the wood, I like uh, I like going down. Tolga, what's up? I like clearing it through through these stairs. So basement. Mm -hmm. And then, and then through here, back up the steps. Oh, someone's been here. This door, I swear, is not usually open. Yeah, someone's been here. That door was open there. But um, okay. you're you're familiar with this like layout, yeah, of reserve. A little bit, yeah. Okay, so yeah, so I I love clearing this building from here. Just go up here and then. And then I sit here top of the stairs and same i just sit i like sit for info see if i hear anyone second floor but if i don't hear anyone second floor i just uh the hallway no one's there we'll go black bishop so i'm going back down um okay. the reason why um i don't like going here you, do you know where this leads to as you go down there the water place no so when oh, we go down, yeah, yeah water, we have to jump yeah. the water i hate that area it feels like a feels like suicide so I'll show you what, what I did here. Um, this is probably this is probably common sense for you as well, but how I peek this area. Um, so, so you can come up top. You can stick to me. It's fine. So when I make it to the top of the stairs, I sit here. I just wait. When I hear nothing, I'll peek up really quick. Nothing there. No one's going to shoot me in the back of the head. Do a quick peek here. Quick peek here. Every corner. When I'm good, I'll just sprint to the next room. And then... Um, and then same peaks and stuff and when i feel like it's super clear then i just chill but that's how you, how i generally clear areas as a solo it's a lot of quick peaks quick peaks wait for info sometimes as well like because i'm you know maybe i sprinted and then i'll stay in one spot i want to hear if someone reacts to me if there's like a dude right. around the corner you know so using audio to my advantage okay so here's another yolo run this is kind of like hopefully no good snipers let's go then as we... Oh, there's a dead body right there. Um, as we peek this, just pre-aim, usual stuff. 
that window right there. No one's there. Coming to the left. Coming to the left and clear the stairs. I'll clear the right side of the building. Let's go left. Yeah, we're good here. Are there any food spawns in here? I didn't oh. bring any. Oh, um, here. here we go. Vita. Here. Lunchbox. I got well. a Vita. Oh, nice. Okay, we'll go down. <clears throat> Someone looted all this. Boxes are open. We'll just uh, see if we can pick a fight here, and then we'll extract if nothing's around. Okay. W water, water, water. Moving on the right. You want to double peek? Ready? Yep. Wait, wait. Let me see if it's an AI first. Ready? Three, two, one. He's not there. He's not there. What the fuck? He's in the right room. He's... He stopped moving. Yeah, that's crazy. But he's jumping around. I don't think it's AI. Uh, I'm, I'm lit. I'm lit. I'm lit. Don't, don't peek it. Don't peek it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. Okay. We're gonna reposition. This is uh, when repositioning comes in handy. Uh, it's at least. I think it might be a duo. I can nade it. Yeah, I'll nade it. I'll nade it, and then we're gonna run to the left. Okay. Okay. Wait. Wait for the explosion. Left. Then take a right. So instead of peeking that, we'll just, again, from earlier, just reset the fight to something a little better. Because it looks like those guys are, are like, anchored down. And they got their crosshair placement all set up. Come in the office. I think they're here. One's close here. I'm committing to this room. They closed the doors. Looks like a big fight happened here. Yeah, big fight happened. The two guy, uh, the guy in water is the survivor. They have an angle through this door on my right, right? Through that door? A wall? That which door? That door? That door, yeah. It's a locked door, but it's wall bangable. Okay. okay we're gonna um, get out of that corner. It's a little too 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 risky. If if uh, I open this, they might just mag dump that. They might preem that. I'm gonna. Okay, so this guy's not looted. It looks like the fight is fresh. Um, they're still kind of running around. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a quick shoulder peek. Can you get on the angle you were on earlier and just hold the angle on the doorway to the right? Oh wait, wait, F it, F it, F it, F it. Looks like he's... I'm gonna throw a grenade here. Okay, so what, you, what I want you to do, um... The, the angle you were on earlier, come into it. Oh, wait, are you inside? No, you're not. I'm behind you, behind the desk. Come in, come in, come in. He's to the right, in the hallway. We have one to our left as well. We're pinched. One right, one left. Someone threw, threw a grenade, uh, pulled out a grenade to my left. The flashbang. I'm gonna pretend I'm blind. Pushing. Okay, he's behind me now. Can he come through that door? Yeah, no, no, he cannot. So he, he's he's gonna have to come through the button door. This one behind us. We got one to the left, one to the right. He's gonna have to come out through here. Okay, we should isolate this guy. Yep. Hold for a bit. Let's try to get info. I know where his footsteps. My bad. He's near. He's near. He's near. I'm gonna watch the other door in case this guy tries to swing. Behind you, behind you, behind you, behind you. Oh. I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. Sorry, when you were moving, um, he tried to get a- He's, he's, he's gonna swing. Yep, yep, yep. He has no idea you're there. Oh, he got me in the face! <laughs> you Fuck. Can go. Commit to it, it's all good.
He he's dead, he's dead. Nice! Uh, that's a win, dude. GG. <laughs> Honestly, I should have backed up. I should have backed up and let you have it, but I got greedy. But GG, though. Dude. If... Yeah, he had no clue. He was fucking clueless completely. I, 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 the exact, I should have just left and let it go, but I got greedy, man. That was on me. GG, dude. Well played. Oh, that was a good, that was a good raid, though, dude. Um, so there should be, if you kill that guy, you should be clear. Because we heard two guys earlier. Um, so you should, that's all your loot, dude. Take it all, man. I'm not insured, so you can take mine as well if you want. Okay. I'm happy with that, chat. I did die. That was, that was on me, though. I got greedy. I tried to, um... I tried to, uh... Hold the peak on him, but uh, I should have just let let Zach have it. But uh, GG. As long as Zach survives, man, I'm happy. Oh, this is you. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. You could take it all if you want. Keep keep it if you'd like. I don't really mind. There's, uh, the guy I killed is outside to the left of his view as well. Let's see what he had. I should have disengaged, chat. Should have disengaged and let Zach have it. But uh, I got. Like I said, I got greedy. You were kind of on a roll. Thanks, Comic Boxes. Song choice. Yeah, I'm liking the play today. It's very epic. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh shit, sorry, I'm on the voice activation of the It's all good. I don't mind. That's a solid fight though, man. Well played, well played. I'm streaming my perspective if you want to watch. Yeah, I'm watching right now. I'm watching right now. Find my way out of here. Yeah. You that dude. So when um RPK. the reason why I called you out of nowhere in the middle of that chaos was <sighs> when you said I'm gonna hold the other door. And you turned, yep. you turned your back on me, that guy had a perfect angle on you. He tried shooting you. Oh, yeah. I was behind a desk. Yeah. So he, he saw, he, he he had an angle on you, he tried shooting, and that's when I committed to killing him. That's how I was like, oh, shit. I was just like saying whatever, but um, cool. I'm pretty slow when it comes to looting, too. Like, I don't know what's the best thing to take. Um, It's cool. What, with that RPK, just take the attachments. Take the the sight rail, the scope rail, the R, um, RN30, I'm a perfect. Um, the PRS might not sell for a lot. Uh, the, the CSS AK, the uh, charging handle, put on the VSS. Oh, wait, maybe the VSS already has one. Never mind. Yeah, I think it has, has it already. Uh, but yeah, you got it. Oh. Oh. I just got disconnected. It's all good. Take your time. I don't think my ping was that bad. This shit takes damage. me like five minutes to get back in. This is cringe. Cool. You should be clear. Hopefully. Uh, that was it. That was like the two guys we heard. Um, yeah. RPK guy was the one who hit me. And then that second guy you killed was the water guy. So we're harm clear. Apologies, apologies for dying in Tark. I was like saying sorry for consuming oxygen. <laughs> no, I find myself in this situation a lot too, and I want to get out of it where my teammate's dead and I'm the last one alive having yeah. a clutch. Yeah, like, it's... there's got to be like a better way for me to play that where we both come out alive. To be fair, I should, like, that moment, that was all me. I should have disengaged and let him chase me. Like, literally, that came across my mind, but I was like, wait. I can kill him because <laughs> like he kept peeking the same angle i had my crosshair on him i got this dude easy kill but i didn't have it i got i just got cocky honestly that moment i disengaged let you have it yeah that's why i said i was like um uh i told you uh he has no idea you're there i that's when i realized i should have left but um yeah that was me that was me because hmm. if you if you tried to like aggressive peek him you might just catch a headshot yeah. He might just like flick on you. Well, there we go. So, chat's uh, backseating the looting. They said you can put the TV rig in your bag and take my armor. Put the TV rig in. The one you're wearing? Or 
um or you can dump it either oh either way but no rush honestly uh it's your call if you want to do it because my armor is pretty good so what you're wearing you can you you can put that in your bag <clears throat> I did that wrong completely. It's fine. Take it time. You should be generally clear, I think. Thirty hit power. Yeah, power's hit. To get that survive. It's prioritizing sur so at this point I would just prioritize surviving. If you hear someone avoid. Take a left. Take a left? Uh, sorry, right. The doorway to your there, 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 right there. And then go straight. Check your angles there though. Take that door. It's safer. Through so here? Um up. Oh, wait, did you put the armor on? Chat said you didn't put the armor on. Oh you didn't put the armor oh, on on my body, yeah. That was the whole point of that inventory management. <laughs> it's all good, dude. Uh. Good catch. Yeah, I didn't even see it myself. Viewers win games. Yep. Uh. Now, am I fat? Yes. So the, the route I was telling you, it was just, it's just a little, a little safer than running down the main hallway. So you were saying through here? Through there, yep. And then through the doorway and up the stairs. Up the stairs? Yeah. That's where you died in the clip before. And then you take a right oh, and okay. check your left angle as well. Oh, oh my god, dude. It's my connection right now is not good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all good. So we're playing on on my server's chat. He's he's from NA, so it is what it is. It's fine. It, it, this doesn't usually happen to me. Like even when I play Tokyo server, did you stream some internet problems? Just die. I close it to save bandwidth. Okay, okay, fair, fair. Yeah, just get out. You should be okay. So once you come out, um, take a right there, and then at the end of the hall is the stairs that goes downstairs. Should be fine. Eduardo, what's up, dude? What time is it for me now? 7.32 p.m. Yeah, I could have a whole coaching session just for looting priority. <laughs> it's knowing what to no, pick up and honestly, what to stack. Looting? Don't even worry about looting, man. Like, take what you take what you feel like is right, and then you learn as you extract, and you're like, oh, I should have not taken that. That cost like 2k rubles. That's literally how you learn it, man. Don't even stress too much about looting. Um... Like, you're, you're not a streamer, so, I mean, you will be eventually, but, like, if you're not streaming is a better way to say it. If you're not streaming, it's okay, but when you start streaming, people will tell you, like, dude, you should have picked up that painkiller. That was, like, one out of four <laughs> use, but it's all good, dude. <laughs> you take what you can, you leave, and then if you messed one thing up, it's all good. You learn you learn about it, like, oh, that the other thing costed more, and now you know. It literally, it goes with time. It's probably the, the, the least thing I would bother learning. Just keep learning like the PV the PvP side of things and what you're learning right now. <laughs> Alright, that was a good rate though, chat. I hate taking this extract. Mm -hmm. It's the worst. It's not be the worst. There's too many places to check and I have a light on my gun. What gun did the guy who killed me have? Um... I think it was an AK-556. Five, five, no, AK. It, he killed me with a M61, so it's a 308. Uh, I didn't see. Yeah, anyway, that's all good. Don't, don't worry about it. Just uh, get out with uh, what you got. 
I, I still um like even until now I still mess up looting a lot, dude. Like I'll take something. It's like, like there's no oops. way this door is closed unless someone is camping this. Are you, are you streaming again? Or because I wasn't checking. Oh, I turned off the stream. Okay, no, no worries, no worries. Don't worry about it. It's but, that um, door down, you know, where you have to turn left to get out? Mm, yeah, that's usually supposed to be open. And there's like a generator room. But also, people usually close that when they're getting out. So it could either be a cheat, uh, cheater, sorry, camper, or uh, or someone who just extracted. You can, what, you, what I usually do there, I drop my bag in the tunnel, and then I open it with no bag, check, 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 and then come back for my bag. How much do I charge for this is I'm not charging him for this. It's just content. I think it's just fun. I'll do this every now and then with, with you guys, chat. Um it's just that the reason why right, we did I'm this out. is because you're out. Perfect, dude. Well played, man. GG. That's a huge win. Like so so that's another thing as well. Like, um, at the end of the day, especially when you're playing with squads, you know, if your squad wins, your squad wins. Like if I lost, I don't care, man. Like uh as long as you survive, you're the last man standing. That's a GG. And you got out with your quest too. It's a huge ass win. Yeah. So Teach. That's good. Mm -hmm. But I, so the reason why we're doing this thing, chat, is because um, he's competing in a tournament in a few days and he's new to the game and he wanted advice. So here we are. What time is it for you? Oh, what time is it for you right now? Uh, four thirty in the morning. Yeah. What time do you usually go to bed? Uh, six or seven. All right, gotcha. Any tips for I someone work to nights, so I'm usually up pretty late. I see. Flinch whenever there's any type. Um, snoozy that comes with experience. The more you play the game, the less you'll be jumpy over time. Um, just I keep can playing. bring your no gun shortcut. and your uh, your armor for the next one. Um, it's fine. Just keep it. It's yours. All right. I'll, uh, I'll run something else. Uh, what do I want to run though, Chad? That's the question. I don't have much guns left. Uh, Mark 47, 101. AK 101. Ah, cool picks. I'll bring a 101. Um, what, what I'm really happy about, though, is at least we got one good raid in today. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, so from and... here on out, it doesn't matter. Nothing matters anymore. <laughs> we can die for the rest of the night and we're good. Mm. Yeah, one dub is better than no dubs. Yep. Oh, hey, nobody got my mutant from that raid I got shit on by Sanitar. Ooh, nice. Okay, <coughs> let's, um... I got 1,000 hours in Tarkov, currently still scared around footsteps. I'm using Spotify, yes. Um, Snoozy, so it's ex it's honestly experience, man. Uh, a thousand hours. This is, there's no shortcut, right? Uh, like, I wouldn't really recommend like playing music while playing because you do need the audio while playing, right? Um, so did you call the, the Iskra a lunchbox? Did I hear that right? Yeah, yeah, what about it? That's what people call it? I guess, lunchbox? Yeah, yeah. Lunchbox, okay. Iskra, yeah. Um, is that yeah. what that translates to? I have, I have no I, oh, is that what you're? I have no clue, honestly. Yeah, never really wondered. It's a good question, though. But, um, yeah, going back, uh, <sighs> a thousand hours. <sighs> yeah, I can't think of a, a solution for it. Um, it's, it's honestly hours playing more and perspective. I think, I think you need, I think maybe. Do you need a little bit of a perspective change as you play Tarkov? Um, Apparently, it means spark. 
That's what I've never thought. Interesting. So what I was gonna say was maybe your your um two uh how do I put this in a in a in a in a in the right way? Maybe you're uh too worried about losing. I know that sounds like s super s self righteous stuff. Like I'm not worried. I I care about losing. I don't want to lose, but um. There might be, maybe it's a, a deeper issue where, um, like, you just... <sighs> okay, here, here's what I'll say. I think a, a really big part of, of learning Tarkov is learning how to take a loss in this game. And being okay with losing at times. I mean, no one wants to lose. It sucks dying all day, 100%. But kind of knowing that there's always something to learn from losses and, and, and all. I think that's maybe what's stopping you. Um, yeah, the anxiety, right? I do have a video on solo anxiety, Snoozy. It also applies with, like, not solo ang not solo anxiety. But if you want to check that out, I do have a video on that. It's an older video, but still relevant about anxiety in this game. Um, so the anxiety of Tarkov never goes away. I still feel it until this day. You know, when we have fights... Uh, that fight earlier, you know, my heart was pumping. But as you kind of get more experience and you, you kind of find... Uh, I don't know what's what's the word peace. I don't know with losing or you, you're okay with losing. Um, I feel like it's it's you're you can manage your emotions a little better. Uh, so I think that's it's more of a perspective thing now. Uh, if you said you have a thousand hours, I mean at a thousand hours I still do expect nerves and, and anxiety, but it should definitely um, start to slow down a bit than it used to. Um, I will say it never goes away. I still feel it every now and then with with certain fights. What, am I, what else am I doing? Uh, so, yeah. It's, uh... It's something you'll, you'll... I feel has something more to do with how you look at your raids. Are you ready? Ready? You good, good? I am good. Okay, sounds good. I'm in lobby... You want to keep running the same map? Or, oh, did you turn in your quest, by the way? Yes, I did. I got a new quest. I got to oh. find the uh, unpowered exit, whatever that is. D2. You just have to go D2. Oh, that's is, it. is that what that is? Oh, cool. Yeah. Do so you want to stick to reserve? Are you want to go customs anything? Your call. Uh, do you want to run customs? Uh, not really. I mean, I don't know. Do you want to? We could go reserve. Yeah, I'll stick to reserve. Let's go. I was just wondering if you wanted to change it up or anything. I'm good with sticking. Um, Tessia, what's up, dude? Yeah, things are good. Things are good. Let's hope I don't disconnect this time. All right, yeah, no worries. I'm, I'm gonna assume that if your ping goes too high, they just boot you out. Yeah, so there's so there's ping kick in this game. Did you know about that? No. Okay, so there is ping kick, but it's supposed to be at 200. Okay. So if your if your ping was spiking over 200, is it 180 or 200, chat? I know it's 200. I think it's 200. So if your ping goes over 200, it should kick you. That's why I can't play NA servers. I get like 200 ish. Um. But yeah, so just keep an eye on it. If it's trying to shoot over 200, you're probably gonna get kicked. Let me see if exit lag works for Tarkov. Please buy a junk box. <laughs> you must realize that it, it's just a game of the Ooh, more you want to be better Tarkov. for sure, but it's only a game as it is. Once you lose, you win. Yeah, so see if that helps. honestly, like just building on that, um, I know TJ said that done, like it's, lag? What's up? Uh, exit lag. It's a ping yeah, optimizer. Like the GPN or VPN thing. Yeah. It's not really a VPN, but it, it, it like oh, it uh, prioritizes your packets through specific data centers. Right, right. For, like, like the, the routing, yeah. Path. Yeah. Yeah. Routing. Is it 165 right now? Okay. I thought it was like. Is it one? I, I swear. I think I. Th it used to be 165. I think they put it up to 180. Chat. I think they put it up to 180. It used to be 165. But yeah, exit lag does work. Um, a lot of people use that here, in the Philippines, because. So in the Philippines, we don't have the best routing to places, even if like the country's right next to us. So depending on your ISP here, um, you could be like a two hour flight away from like, like Hong Kong or something, but your ping's like 300 because ISP. So yeah, exit lag does work. But um, anyways, going back to like the, the losing chat, the way I, I want you guys to look at losing is it's when cool you... to see exactly what server I'm connected to through it too. Like oh, I know I'm okay. on Tokyo server. Interesting. 
So when you lose chat, I feel like you want to take a loss to be connecting as a through Seattle, yeah. which is weird. Must be the routing path. Yeah, I think for me as well, Seattle and anything US West is the best possible any server I can do, usually in most video games. Yeah, it saw me 66 ping on exit lag, so that's a wow. dramatic increase. Anyways, chat, um, what I was saying was when you lose in this game, I want you guys to kind of look at it as like a lesson. Like, what, what could you have done better? And once you compound the amount of what could I have done better over and over again, you keep looking like, what could I have done better than that? You, you compile all your losses and learn one after the other. You're going to be, become a better player in the next week, you know? I do. Uh, I play on Asian servers, yeah. So it's in the losing where you learn a lot about Tarkov. Um, and it sounds so cliche. It sounds though. It sounds so like fall down seven, stand up eight. But I swear, I mean it. Um, I, I I still learn way too much about myself as a Tarkov player when I die. It's like oh, I should have not done that. Like earlier, yeah. I, I just talked about earlier when I died in that last raid. I, I should have um, I should have just disengaged and let let my boy have it. But I I got greedy. I overpeaked it. Where's my guy come from? He is from West Canada. And um, I feel like I do compoundly get better the more I lose. And uh, and not only that, but like <sighs> losing in this game, I I understand it's tilting. It's it's frustrating. It sucks. It one hundred percent sucks. But it's also what makes Tarkov sweaty and fun. You wouldn't be playing this game, chat, if there wasn't sweat involved. It's right, something you live says with. sixty ping. Let's see what the game says. You, wait, but ping's not showing up in your top right, yeah? Uh, not yet. Oh, so you must be at somewhere at 60, 70 then. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, it says 149 right oh, now. Oh, 149. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. So, um, it sh yeah, as long as you don't hit near the 200s, you should be generally fine. Yeah, so, so, so people are surprised in chat. You can play in J Japanese servers. Yeah, so he, he can play in Japanese servers. He has about 150 ping. Just under ping kick. Oh, we'll be watching it. Uh, it's on Thursday. It's called Invictus. Okay, let's just get in here. Let's chill on surface for a while. Um, okay. Just to change things up. Let's check out this next... Uh, let's go I think I've got a bunch of keys for this building. If you want to loot up. I'm good. Unless you want to do it up. That's all good. Yeah. So we'll get into black I'm not pond. too concerned with the looting. Gotcha. Through the back here. Okay, let's chill a bit. Take a... You can kind of chill inside once you're in. I'm going to run left a bit here. Just you can chill there for a little while. So you probably already know Mark Room's under us. Um, we're just going to chill a bit. See if we hear anyone... Where are you? On the stairwell. Okay, okay. Sounds good. I'm gonna run across. I think I just here. heard a grenade. Okay. That was a weird sound. That's like a grenade pen being pulled. Okay, you can uh, stack on me. I'm gonna. We'll make our way across this building here, this far. quiet so far. Let's go Black Bishop, see if Mukar's here. Is this one of the spawns? One of, yeah. But he can spawn at the chopper. He spawns everywhere. Left. I hear someone left. I'm gonna go second. You can go third. You can go third. You can check third. Okay. Clear. Okay, I think. I don't, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. Cool. 
I um let's go back down first and uh i'll meet you at first i'm gonna take a left okay. um the left 45 degree room you'll see me as you go down there's no reason for us to here move around right yeah yeah I'm, I'm first floor wood you can come down it's pretty safe yeah i'm down here on first okay wait where are you down the hallway from you oh is that you flashlight yep okay, okay sounds good sounds good it's all clear um, you know what? It's super quiet. Let's just head down to B2. I was just wondering if we get any surface fights, but it seems like too quiet. No reason for us to go anywhere else, really. Okay, I'm down. Uh, opening the door to the basement. Close that door on your back as well so we keep our tracks uh, untraced. Right, Trevor, what's up, man? So to see if you, let's uh, chill here for a bit and try to get some footstep audio. And sometimes like sitting here, see if we hear a uh, uh, nothing at least yet. Okay, usually like running, same. Just trying to get a right hand peek. Careful with that ramp to the right as well. I'm gonna commit to the uh, hallway. Okay. Can I clear it? I'll turn it on so there's lights. No raiders again, huh? Mm, oh yeah, you do need raider kills. Hey, watch out. Damn, it's quiet. Okay, you can chill here first. Let's do the same thing earlier. I'm gonna... What, um, you can chill here. I'm gonna go out to the hallway, check for anything, get for info, and see if we can pinch someone. There's uh, suppressed shots upstairs. Oh, um, on me, on me. Um, he's at the. Oh shit! I got two on me. I got one. I'm in the bathroom. I'm in the bathroom. See anyone okay. you see, shoot him. I'm not near you at all. So you know the stairs that come from King, uh, the metal stairs at the end yep. of the hallway? They came from there. I'm kind of stuck in a bathroom right now. I don't even hear your shots. Yep. I, I died. He was on King stairs. Yep. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> One, it's a three man. One's lit up. The other one's covering for his bud. I hit him nine times. Oh! Behind! Dude, there's so much. I got shot from behind. It's a fifth party. <laughs> GG. A good fight though. That was, uh, that was fun. Fun fight. I was just unfortunate there. Yeah, I tried to push to help you as best as I could. No worries. Yeah, yeah. I, I put myself in a bad spot. <clears throat> I thought it was... Honestly, I thought it was one more. Um, oh. But, uh, yeah, they were a total three, man. Dude, I hit him nine times. <laughs> what bullets do you have? Uh, it was subsonics. <sighs> subsonics, gotcha. But I think it's my last raid of the night, dude. All right. I'm gonna hop off and chill. Dude, thanks for the games, man. Thanks for allowing us to help you, dude. Yeah, thank you so much for all your help, man. Yeah, I'll see you. Really appreciate it. Um, so tournament Thursday, 6 p.m. Yeah. Yep. So again, Chad, for those of you just hopping on, um, this is uh this is Zach. He's with us. We met yesterday, and he wanted help because he's new to the game and he's competing in a tournament. Big big dick energy, but he's we saw his footage. He's pretty he's pretty good at the game already at 200 hours. I swear. 
Uh, it's Thursday is going to be his tournament. We're gonna, I'm going to be live for the tournament. That's 6 p.m. Eastern Thursday. That's 6 a.m. for us in the Philippines. And I'll be streaming... I'll be streaming on that day watching his perspective he's gonna be streaming it on twitch because they're required to stream and uh, we'll watch it so if you guys missed it on the vod this vod will be up on youtube uh we we broke down some some raids and stuff it was fun it was a fun day thanks for being here man appreciate yeah, thank you. you so much for your help and it was you're getting off for the night you're not gonna uh, stream somewhere yeah I'm, I'm gonna get off um just uh chill had a good sesh all right, all right dude, have a good night man or morning right. take it easy dude Yep, I see you. Yes, yep. Yeah, that was good, chat. That was good. Um, that was uh, so who killed me, chat? That was uh, the, from behind the M4 we were hearing upstairs. This, there's suppressed M4 upstairs. That guy came down and killed me. So um, I was trying to focus on the duo in front of me. Uh, third party came from the back. So that was someone else. So. Nonetheless, that was uh, that was the, the last couple of raids. Well, all our raids was just looking for PvP and D2. I wanted to get a lot of PvP with with Zach, just so um, uh, our our priority in these raids were to get PvP together, just so you know, get PvP period. So we really put ourselves in, you know, we threw ourselves into the uh, into the chaos there. So win some, lose some, it's all good. Did you? Anyways, chat. Yeah, win battle bit video. Um, put, still putting it together. I'm still trying to think of if i want to put it out i'm trying to find like a nice i haven't really properly figured out my battle bit video yet but i'm putting all the footage together trying to see where i go with it but anyways chat um so here's the plan tomorrow i'll probably stream normal tarkov maybe not super long because the zach tournament chat will be 6 a.m my time uh again i'll i'll, I'll it's thursday 6 p.m eastern that's gonna be 6 a.m for me on friday no wait um so wait no that's in two days actually Oh, it's in three days, so never mind. I'll be doing normal Tarkov tomorrow. But yeah, we'll be, we'll be back to tomorrow with normal solo solo raids. We're gonna um, continue. I probably have to farm. We'll probably do farming runs tomorrow or something. Quest while farming. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But all, all that out of the way, chat. Thank you guys for hanging out today. Hope you guys enjoyed the, the little coaching stream. Thank you, Zach, again for allowing us to for for being a part of it. Um, it, it's you know this whole thing was a two way street. Zach was super down for us to help him. He, uh, and, and he was a super good sport about everything. I loved it. Today was super fun. I'm glad we got to do it. Um, so tournament Thursday, 6 p.m. I'm not playing. We're, we're, Zach is playing. We're going to watch it. That's all it is. So chat, you guys have a beautiful morning, evening, afternoon. Thank you guys for hanging out. Again, if you guys haven't checked out the latest YouTube video, um, check it out. Yeah, we'll do more group content soon. I, I have been saying, um, you know, we've been playing squads for a long, uh, solo for a long time. I definitely want to get some, some duo slash squads in to change things up but hey it was nice to to um get it going what's for what's for dinner i do have pesto pasta maybe some chicken as well protein whatever we'll see but uh gotta figure it out anyways thanks for hanging chat today was fun today was good vibes you guys were all super wholesome thanks all as well chat for being super nice to zach um and uh have a good one see you guys probably tomorrow sub to the channel if you guys have not join the discord all that and uh see you guys on the next one let me just unlist this video, this stream. Um...